What's up? Welcome to the Zodiac Show. Once again, it's your host, Kevin Tate, and it's no place I'd rather be. And I'm a Gemini. And today's topic is, yo, is it cool to date? Is it okay to date if you're still married, but y'all separated? Come on, I want to know, man. Put your sign in the comments. Put your hearts in the air. Hope Juan, you the first one to it. Shea Bree, LeVar Hand, what's up? Wait, my dog. Come on, y'all. Put y'all sign in the comments. Put y'all hearts in the air with me. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Zodiac Show once again. Thank you to everybody that follow my YouTube channel. Everybody that follow my Facebook page. Everybody that Kevin Tate on everything. Everybody that follow my uh, Instagram page as well. Just as well as send cash apps, ball merch, ball badges. That's love. V. Ronzi, what's up? Come on. I see. Aries, let's go. Forever love a genuine here, y'all. Let's go. Yeah. Gang gang. When sing, I see you, cutie. What's up? Class at. Come on. Real talk. I wanna know. Is it cool to date? If you still married, but y'all is separated. I need to know. Come on. I am Kiana Shamise. What's up? Shaquana. Come on. Let's get it. Come on. Thank y'all to everybody that tuned in. Everybody that's back, everybody that ever showed any type of love to the Zodiac show. Gang, gang. Come on. I need to know. Y'all got about another 45 seconds. Come up in this thing, y'all. Shaquan in the building. Thank you for the pen. Come on. I know what the fuck going on. <laughs> Turn up. Yes. Yeah, Shane Ring, what's up? I need to know. I need to know. Let's go, y'all. Thank y'all for anybody that ever invited everybody, anybody here. Anybody that's ever invited anybody here. That's love. Kwana say, no, it ain't okay. She say, hell no, it ain't okay. Kiana Shamise, thank you for the three badges. That's love. Right at your fingertips, I appreciate that. You say it ain't okay? All right, well, then we're going to find out. Juicy, little tip, what's up? Welcome to the Zodiac Show. God, I see you, LeVar Rogers. I need to know, is it cool to date if you married, but y'all separated? I need to know, man. Come on. We go, man. Let's see what the fuck going on. Oh, Shaquana got a popping hot leg going on. I need to know. Juicy with the white hand. All day. What's up, Shaquana? What's up? Welcome to the Zodiac Show. Miss Dammit, I'll see Thank you. you. Listen here. I mm -hmm. need to know. Now, I, I, I need to know. Is it cool? Is it cool to be dating somebody and fucking around with somebody if you're married but y'all separated? No, it's not all right. Because mm -hmm. mm, y'all right. could possibly get back together. Black Ron, what's up? You say y'all could possibly get back together? Yeah, y'all could possibly get back together. Even though you're legally separated, y'all could work something. Y'all could work things out. Hey, Black Ron. Y'all could work things out. God, ja, I appreciate the three badges. That's love right at your fingertips. So look here. I don't mm -hmm. know about them getting back dating or whatever, but like, I mean, that's a possibility, I guess. But at the same time, it's more about <clears throat> it's more about breaking your vows. Shit, yeah. you're in a relationship. So if you're in a relationship, yeah, yeah. if y'all can't figure out how to get a divorce, then you need to get out the game because you know you never know what a husband might do. You never know what somebody might do. Elaine K, what's up? You know? Yeah, because because I've seen it happen. Husband and wife get legally separated. They each dating somebody and they realize. Why are we separated? And they get back together. Right. They end, up, they end up getting back together. So why put somebody else in the mix? Figure out what you going to do first before you bring somebody Absolutely. else in the mix. Absolutely. A lot of times people be living separated, and they really do be separated. But I understand what you're saying. So right. now just Jamie say, if I'm saying that right, she said she left her husband and didn't finalize it until three years later. So what was you doing, Just Chimey? Was you out dating dudes? Was you dating yeah, was guys? You dating? I need to know that because that's interesting. Yeah. Because if, if I'm dating you, 
Even though y'all separated, a lot of times men can be weird. They'll live all day long as they figure their girl ain't got nobody. And then they go right. around there. They go around there and your ass laying up there on some separated shit. See? You laying up there on some separated shit. And now he done came in here throwing rocks and shooting through the goddamn house and shit. Thank you. And you she got said, a bullet in your forehead. Goddamn, I mean, your forehead? I'm that motherfucker saying. is in the house. In your I'm forehead, Shaquana. In the damn. forehead. <laughs> no body shots or nothing. Just... <laughs> you got some crazy fools out here. I'm just saying. He, he was a good shot. <laughs> okay, I guess so. Jesus. <laughs> he, he was a good shot. But me personally, if I was married and my, my, me and my husband were separated, I wouldn't be dating nobody. Mm. I would go and get my divorce. I wouldn't need to be separated. I'd go and get my divorce. You be focused on your divorce and getting it done? Yeah. The Bunch copy of what's up. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't trying to get separated. I'm trying to get rid of you forever. Yes, yes, yes. I ain't trying to be with you no more. Bye. Well, yeah, that's saying. what she said. She done yeah. said what she said. She said if it's over, she ain't dating no dude that's talking about he married. You yeah, married. Not, yeah, but we I'm separate. Not. We've been separated for eight years. Hell no. Uh -huh. No, it's so smooth. What's no, up, girl? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. After a year and a half, if we have not figured out what we was gonna do in a year and a half, I'm bringing you divorce papers. I'm not oh, gonna be no, I'm not gonna be separated and still digging and married to you for no, no, okay. mm -mm. you still got keys to the house. You better believe Thank it, god damn it. That's my lawnmower. Saying? That nigga better not be using my lawnmower and that motherfucker. That's all me in there. That's all me. <laughs> My See lady what I'm saying? Rico, what's up? I'm finna finalize my divorce right behind your back. Yeah. But listen. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. TT, well, listen, Shaquana, thank you for coming in. Thank you for your energy today. I'm glad you and all of that. You welcome. Stay here. You never know what's going to happen. Stay here. I'm scared. <laughs> you ain't scared. You love it. It's the Zodiac show, y'all. That's Shaquana, man. Let's get it, man. That's my girl there, man. Keona Shamiz, I appreciate the badges. God, John, thank you for the badges. That's real talk. Come on, y'all. We moving. Let's get it popping. Come on. Jake Yoda Blair, Starlight. What's up? I want to know. Is it okay to date if you're married? If you're still married, but y'all but y'all, but y'all separated. I want to know. I mean, that's some dangerous shit. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's some dangerous shit right there. That's some dangerous shit dating while you separate. Because again, for a lot of reasons, because if I jump, if I get at you and I'm trying to get with you for real, for real, for real, that's going to throw me off. Shaquana, thank you for the badges. The two badges, that's love. Thank you. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 no. You Now, that don't mean I won't smash you. Let me just throw that out there. That don't mean I won't smash you. K.F. Sinclair, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Skin so smooth, Molly Kuto. Just to, I, that don't mean I won't smash you while your ass going through your separation and you trying to figure shit out. I will knock your ass down. But as far as trying to start a relationship, you need to chill out. Miss Gemini, thank you for the two badges. Ain't seen you in a minute. Straight up. You can't just be out here, you know. I will knock you down. But again, you need to tell me that. Miss Damon says she know a lot of people that's been separated, been married, but been separated for a long time. That's crazy. They do it all day. Keona Shamish, you feel me? Because I tell you right now, it won't be me. I need to know right now if you married. But see, women be lying. Women be lying sometimes. Men be lying sometimes. People be lying sometimes. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But but don't respect the relationship for real. Exactly. Starlight, thank you for the three badges, love. That's love. Turn up. For real, you know what I'm saying? Like, my fire app. So, oh, Kev, you'll get knocked down. Don't play. Oh, shit. Smashing is part of the healing. Hot huh, time. Your ass supposed to have been over there. See? Just timey. Your ass is supposed to have been over there. You're supposed to be over there healing, but you got a motherfucker over there knocking you down. Ain't that something just chiming? We, I was on your side. I was on your side. TJ, what up? Jake Diller, I was on your side until I found out that you're supposed to be over there healing, and you got a motherfucker over there smashing. She's so funny.
Come on. D-Way 713, Texas in the building. What's up? TJ, appreciate the three badges, bro. That's love, man. Right at your fingertips. That's love. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Come on, man. Come on. Y'all mean to tell me. Because that's what it is. See, fellas get caught up in a lot of that bullshit. Fellas, fellas be out here motherfucking all the way married, too. Fellas, y'all niggas be out here married. Y'all got to stop that shit, man. Y'all can't be out here married, fellas. All the way married. And out here and relate, start relationships. Because if you're fucking, you're starting relationships. You understand what I'm saying? If you're fucking, you're starting relationships. So, you know, when she look up and fall in love with you, you can't get rid of her. You better be honest. Oh, look at the people planning they exit. Oh, shit. Starlight done said the all oh, shit. They planning they exit. Hey, boy, the case. What's up? <laughs> Hi, love. How you doing? What's up, Cleona? How you doing, though? I'm all right. How you doing, love? Uh, I'm good. You hear what we talk? Wipe your camera off. It's a little foggy. My bad. It's all good. I'll make you right. I'm going to get you all the way together. There you go. You shine anyway. But check this out. <laughs> you, is it cool to date while you married but separated? Um... That is a hard question, like always, because this is what you do. This is the Zodiac show. I, you know, I got questions. You know, I can't just, you can't just say, "Oh, we separated." It's different levels of being separated. The, You're right, the treat me sweet. What's up? Ended three, four years ago, but we was trying to work it out for the kids. You know, and then we finally, I was respecting you, and you was respecting me, and then we finally said we get separated. Then it's like. Well, I already done had my eye on this guy, and I can date him because whatever. You're or... married. You're married. What are you talking but I'm about? Separated. You're separated. Yes, but you're married. What are you doing out here, Lamont Tate? What up, boy? You're married. Come on, I, I got you. You're supposed to be over there healing. You're supposed to be healing that like just timing. But like I said, it could be the marriage could have been over. It could have been over. It's people that still stand together right now because quarantine, and they both getting them unemployment checks, and baby, we got to pay these bills. So it but just... Then why is you it, out here fucking other people then? I didn't... You didn't say fuck. You said, said date. What you think they doing after the date? What you, you said date. Doing, what you think come along with dating? You think y'all just going out to eat motherfucking nachos and goddamn pita bread? Hell Some no. separations take a year. Some take longer. Separation. We are married on paper. You don't know if I my heart been left this relationship a long time ago. I'm just been putting it up with you because we married, we got kids, and I wanted to work it out. My grandparents told me that you know you supposed to fix something that's broken. You ain't supposed to leave it. Hell no. Uh uh. But if if it was me, in all honesty. I probably wouldn't do it out of respect for the other person. I would wait till we fully got divorced and then went on about it. But as far as you can't just say, oh, you can't date because you separated and you still married. We married on paper, baby. I, I didn't say you I didn't say you couldn't. I wanted to know if you would. And is it cool? Would you be cool with that if you found out that your husband separated, got a whole motherfucker he dealing with? He love he all over there with her. He doing shit. Would you give a shit? What's up, man? And I'm you. I would care, but I couldn't let him know that I care. How? You just gonna keep popping up at the house like we don't know what that means, Doctor Q? What's up, Doctor X? Well, I would just just we've already agreed to the separation. If we gotta wait a year for divorce and then we go to the judge and then we can finally get divorced and all of that stuff, you ain't bringing no other female here. You can go there all day long. But also, at the you same be time, separated, you but he's still living there. Also, if he's he still living there and we still pretending like we married. No, I thought you said that. I thought that's what you said. No, I'm saying because you were saying he you still you keep coming to the house or whatever. That's different. You know, you, so, your questions be having different levels. It, it's different levels to it. <laughs> different <laughs> situations, right. different people. Like yes. so are you so here's the thing. So we're married. All right, fuck you, fuck you. You leave, you do your thing. 
Whatever you do. Nah, because if we end like that, if we say, oh, fuck you, you can nah, still nah, fuck nah, me. Nah. No, that's if we ain't like that. That's it's passion there. It's some passion there. Yeah, it, okay, it, I like it ain't. But if there's a quiet divorce, like you good, I'm good, or whatever. Just y'all figure out a way it don't go right. Y'all separate. You mean to right. tell me you gonna go and do what? How fresh is this separation? Do you it's need goddamn? Look. It's Caesar salad fresh, and let me find y'all last <laughs> ordering food. I'm kicking the goddamn menu over. With if that's the case, kids. no, that's di so disrespectful. It is disrespectful. Uh, Keona Shamise, right, how you gonna say the man? And she does the conversation go, just be <laughs> throwing on, shit Keona, in there. Look. Keona Shamise, you can't be talking about a man for sure gonna be fucking around. Sound to me like the ladies on the one on here fucking around. Really? You know, real talk. Keisha Nicole, what's up? Sharice Saji, love you, but. So that's the thing. I guess I need to know. Like, is you if it's you know, fresh, it's a fresh separation. We just decided last week we're gonna get separated. No, maybe matter. we just needed some space. No, it's not a divorce. That's what I'm talking about. It's not mean. a divorce. I, hey, I'm just pressing your but answer. But if we can separate for just, a year, it's look. I'm just poking holes at your theory, boo. I've not chose a side yet. I have, but I'm just poking holes at your theory as I do. What's your side? I know we, we need to know. What's your side? Is it cool to date? No, I think dating for a man's a little different because if a, if a guy is dating a woman, that means they're spending time and you're probably building something. Women kind of building with you, right? So thinking dating, nah, I think you need to be true. I think you need to be honest. And if you're going to do something where y'all separated, you need to be letting everybody know the truth. Hey, look, I'm married. Or so whatever it's the case okay. Is. That's what you're saying. I'm saying, hey, look it's here. Okay for, so is it okay for her to be dating somebody while y'all separated, even though she told him, hey, we married? And she lets you know, hey, I'm dating this guy. He's really nice to me. You know, he's just waiting on us to, to sign the divorce papers. Would I be okay with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I have no choice because guess what? She'll always be able to do that because I won't be checking. You know what I'm saying? I won't be checking. Libra, don't tip my scales. I see you. Don't you know? I wouldn't be checking. So far as I'm concerned, once I'm away, I'm assuming that you're dating anyway. That's how my mind is laced. I'm not gonna play my mind and think that you somewhere sitting around waiting on me. I'll never arrange my mind that way. But you're I'm, married, Kevin. You're absolutely. married. But if we <laughs> separate. That means before I walk out that door, you know, nigga, you know somebody else might be smashing that. Once you walk out that door, you open in the door. That is not true. No, it's not true. It's not true, but the possibility is there. So you just walk away. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even look into what's going on with her. That's not healthy for me. So I wouldn't do that, honestly. You know what I'm saying? I really wouldn't. That's just the honest truth because I can't handle it. I'm not mature enough. To handle another nigga around like that. I you mean, know as long as you able to admit that, we got this understanding. Yeah, but I won't look. That's the understanding. The understanding is I won't be looking. So, again, your conversation is uh is good. It's inquisitive, actually, right? And uh, I appreciate you for it. Thank you. Hey, yo, I need her on at all time. Oh, poetic haze, I love it, man. She be talking her shit, dudes. That's my girl, poetic haze, gang, gang. <laughs> Check it up. Yours truly poetry. What's up? Let's see who up in this thing. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I need to know. Is it cool? Mr. Hot Miss Hottie, what's up? My lady Rico. Let's go. Hey, what up, fam? My God, Dr. X. Nah, Q is fine, man. You know, I'm going to start calling you off, man. I'm trying to be like you these days. You going to call Call me up. I'm making a joke. I mean, hey, look. I mean, I'm trying to I'm be joking. like you now. I'm joking. Yeah. You hear what we talking about, though? Is it okay to date if you're married but separated? I mean, you obviously know the answer. Yeah. It's like, you know, you ain't got to, I mean, you ain't got to like the shit. You just got to accept the shit. You know, like, 
what y'all were saying earlier was real. It's like, I'm right there with you. I don't need to know. The only time I would need to know in that situation is if I had kids with me. That's when I would need to know. Like, okay, is this dude, this, 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 this dude from be, fun to be around my kids. Now I need to know if this nigga's safe. You know, like, it's okay. It's fine. Y'all broke up. Being married, all that is, is no, you know, like, sadly, you know, in our society, it's became a thing of paper. But at the same time, it is, marriage is a union. You don't want to be with somebody. You don't want to be with somebody. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine. But if they have to date somebody, you have, you have the right to not who they dating or to not or not to want to. But at the same time, when I look at it like this, if I if I have kids involved, then I have to be the one to know who around my kids. Because right. Right. That you know, sense, though. safety come first. Absolutely. You know, fuck my feelings. Like, you know, you ain't hurt my ego if you fuck a some if you fucking uh fucking my uh ex wife, like nigga, like Yo, as long as we ain't got no kids, I ain't worried about no about that shit. Like, I just need to know if the nigga good around my kids. Right, absolutely. You know, right. I may not gotta like you, but I have to accept and respect you. Okay, I ain't mad at Real that, bro. Real talk, bro. It's good to see you up on this thing too. Hey, listen, I saw you Always the other does. days. I was trying to get you in there, but I got you. It's good to see you, bro. As doctor, you know, he say call him motherfucker. Nah, that's what he say. Call him cute. Turn up, man. Call him cute. That's my dog. I ain't seen him in a minute. Y'all heard what he said. Come on. Let's see what we got. Let's just see what we got right quick. I see y'all in there. Jay Dillon, Mad Ford. I see y'all. Okay. What up, though? Chris Robinson, what's up? Welcome to the Zodiac Show. Uh, what up, though? Uh, I can't even. Can't help me. Yeah? What you say? Say that again. Can't even. Can't help me. Man, I don't even understand what you're saying, dog. What you trying to say? Uh, I know I know you were saying I know you were saying though. I know you was mentioning some stuff about you wanted me to help you out. You got this chick that you had said something to and you need to kinda get her and you want me to say something to her. Is that what you saying? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, well what you done did, man? You done fucked up. Uh, uh, I'm right. <laughs> All right, so who is the chick, man? Uh, it's a girl. It, it's a girl. She's so... She's so fine. She's so fucking fine? How you gonna be cussing, too? Just tell me what you're saying, motherfucker. You can't be talking and cussing. She just so fine. <laughs> Come on, man. I fuck with you. So she fine. All right, all right. Uh, and you want to get at her. Now, where's she at? Yeah, she's already fucking uh, uh, she, uh, she, uh, she, uh, she got it. She on Instagram. Yeah. Okay, all right, so she on Instagram. All right, so cool, 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 cool. Instagram. Well, look, dog, what you got to do is you got to use your words. You know what I'm talking about? You got to type them in. Uh, you got to say exactly what you feel in her DM, all right? And I mean, you got to say exactly what you mean. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. You want me to get her on my line? Yeah. Well, man, look. That ain't what, look, I'm going to tell you. You want me to tell you what to do? Don't bring her on the line. Don't bring her on the line. Don't bring her on the line. <laughs> All right. What I need you to do is I need you to go in her DMs, right, dog? And I want you to articulate exactly what you want to say to her. You feel me? Be as confident. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't be nasty. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to be freaky with her or nothing like that. 
but just be direct and say, hey, look here, I'm interested at you. I'm tired of looking at your page. I felt like I want to say something today, and that's where I'm at with it. My name is Chris, and I think you fly. You know what I'm saying? I'd love for you to respond back. Right? But type that shit in, how good punctuation. You got, listen, your pen game got to be on point. You feel me? Get your pen game real good, right? And say what you feel and be fly with that shit. You feel me? And then yeah. after that, see where it go. Take your shot, see what happens. Make sense? Uh-huh. You're going to do that shit, bro. Yeah. All right? And then, hey, hey, let me know what happened. DM me, bro, and tell me what happened. Go get that. You can get that. I see you with the cut, my nigga. I, I, I know you, man. I know what you about. <laughs> I see you got cleaned up. You like I wanted to see my haircut. No, nigga, you gonna DM her first. All right. Uh, Go get her, man. You got that. You feel me? You gotta believe that though. You believe that? Uh, all right. Go get that, man. I fuck with you. All right. Uh, uh, That's my dog, Chris Robinson, bro. Gang, gang. Uh, Peace. This is a type of Gang, gang, y'all know what it is. Zodiac show every day. Let's get it. Come on, turn up. Gang, gang, y'all know what it is. Every night, Zodiac show, no place I'd rather be. Gang, gang. Turn up. T. Michael, what's up? Come on, Jermaine from Compton, what up? Zicky Oda Blair. Let's go. Come on. Topic for the day is, is it okay to date if you're still married but separated? Come on. Come on. BG, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> just tiny. me. What up, though? Welcome to the Zodiac Show. Welcome back to the Zodiac Show. Yes, it's been a while. Okay. You thought I forgot, <laughs> right? Hey, what's your sign? Yeah. Tell everybody what your sign is so they'll remember. Virgo Moon and Virgo. Oh, sun. my. Oh, Virgo my. Virgo. Oh, my God. Another Virgo in here, y'all. All right, so check it out. Look, I need to know. Jackson, Michigan, what up? So is it okay to date if you marry? But y'all separated? I think it's subjective because the marriage can mean many things. But when we look at what the definition of marriage is, it's an ec economic contract. It really is a, a business legally binding contract between two people. And everybody's marriage is different. And some women, I know I've had several of my friends that have been divorced myself, when we leave, we had already left months, even some years before we actually physically left. We left. You had y'all smash somebody, but did you smash somebody? I understand you're packing your shit and going when to your we mama's were, house. But when I was in my marriage, like I didn't leave until like I knew there's nothing else I can do. And then there was that like you go through the stage of grief. So there's that five stages of grief because you are you. I didn't have kids, so it's a different scenario, but like I lost my husband. Like he literally is dead to me now. And even though he's alive, I went through those five stages of grief. And part of that was is to feel beautiful again. And to feel like, I, I mean, I never looked at other men looking at me until I was separated from my husband. And then? And then I realized that, that I was actually beautiful. That you was actually married? <laughs> How about no, that? No, I real my husband had stopped. No, I'm teasing you. So beautiful. And yeah. you know, that a lot of the reasons is when you're not intimate with your husband, there the intimacy causes communication problems or communication problems causes lack of uh, intimacy. Kids, all that busy stuff like really diminishes the marriage. And you stop feeling wanted. And mm. that intimacy of someone just desiring you, even if it's a physical desirability, it yeah. 
you back to life. And so, so let me so, ask you. It I'm wasn't sorry. a emotional attachment. It was more of adult exercise. Yeah, you know, whatever. But listen, let me ask you something, though. <laughs> I, w I want to take it a step back, though. When you were speaking about how, you know, you stop feeling wanted and you stop feeling, you know, looked at around the house and shit like that. Okay, so what was your retort to that? How did you, in turn, handle that? Did you just check out or did you... No, it, or, I tried. I thought, well, what do you, you mean know, by tried? Was a, maybe he was having a hormonal issues. I tried different approaches. I tried being sexy, I, I, I tried different things, but I never really discussed it. Right, like, did you ever ask him? Maybe I never, like, like, and that was something I looked back and I realized, like, why was I trying to, like, trying to guess what was the problem without actually asking? Right, because you probably hurt his feelings one day and blew it off and blew him <laughs> off. It worked, and I thought, like, we would get through this, but... I never understood the importance of that intimacy. Well, like, absolutely. Sex, because that when you have sex in a relationship, like you're vulnerable. Like you, it's a very like vulnerable but, activity. But, but I want to finish asking you my questions. I want to finish. I want to finish having a conversation with you. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, if you have a situation where you're not being touched on, loved on, someone being intimate with you. And you said the moves that you made, you made were, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get a little sexy. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to change some things as opposed to having a conversation. So in hindsight, do you think if you had an opportunity or not opportunity, but if you found yourself in that situation again, would you handle it differently or would you go and buy some sexy panties? Oh, no, I would completely, I actually learned from that. So I would not, I don't take anything back from that. Like, you, we get married thinking we know how to be married. We get, we, we get in relationships, and especially in America, how women are taught about sex. Like, it wasn't until my 30s and after my divorce that I realized the, the beauty of sex. Because we are taught to preserve ourselves and to, you know, be quiet about that. We are taught that sex is actually a, a pleasurable and actually a mental release. Like, it's good for your body. And so, I mean, that was through my 20s. I'm in my 30s now. But it wasn't until afterwards that I realized that it's a very important aspect of a marriage. But also, it's also good for me, too. So it was more of a, like, a duty prior to that. So I mm. learned from it. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it makes I don't, a lot I of this. I'm saying this all. No, no, no. This is good conversation. <laughs> Gossip and Heifers, what's up? No, it's great conversation, though. And I'm glad you came in. Your perspective is good. It's fiery. And I love it, though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad you popped in. You going to stay around here for a little while or what? I will, but I do have to work in the morning. All right, so. as long as you can, then. How about as long as you can, then? I will. <laughs> all right, good to see your face again on the show. You too. Bye. Zodiac show, y'all. Let's go, man. She be lit. I, I forgot she came on a long time ago, but she got she got some good um energy and shit like that. Yo, Molly, Molly Kuto, what up, though? <clears throat> so amazing. I see you. Come on, y'all. It's a vibe. It's the Zodiac show, y'all. Roll that thing up. Go use the bathroom. Hold that thing up. Drink a little something. So glad y'all here. If this y'all first time here, we do this every night. 8.30 on the West Coast. Tune in, your man Kevin Tate. Go follow my Instagram page, my YouTube channel. Come on. Go visit MotivateEverybody.com. Come on. Hey, Lamont Tate, what up? LeVar Heron, what up? Cleona, what up? Detroit is in the motherfucking building. I see. Come on. Where my Pisces at? Make some noise. It's Pisces season. I see. L72C. Come on. Where my Pisces at? Watch out. The Pisces is in the motherfucking building. Y'all know what the fuck going on, too. Move out the way. Come on, Shaquana. I see you moving that thing. Thank you for them badges, Shaquana. Thank you for them two badges. That's love. Right at your fingertips. Come on. Jane Douglas. Come on. Come on, y'all. I'm coming to get y'all, too. I see y'all. I'm coming to get y'all. Right now, vibe. Roll that thing. Smoke that thing. Pull that thing. Come on. Let's 
Bosco. Come on. Win sing. Can man. My guy. What's up? Y'all know what the fuck going on. Listen, it's a damn shame. Shut up. Shout out my dog Jay Dilla. Thank you for the badge, my dog. Appreciate that. That's love, bro. Right at your fingertips. Y'all know what it is. Zodiac show. Come on. All right, let's see what the fuck going on. Come on. Come on. Mass board, I'm on the way. Can man, I see. What up, though? What's up with it? Jay Dilla, you know I'm into a real nigga. What's poppin', man? Oh, hey, you're Maintain. 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 So check this out, bro. Yo, is it okay to date if you married, but y'all separated and shit? Yeah. Come, yes, sir. Talk, Come. Talk well, shit. Like for me, like somebody else said, they had mentally checked out or emotionally checked out of the marriage a long time ago. So with my situation, it was over with. It was over with. What do you mean? Like marry or divorce? The the marriage, like the living together was over with. We were still legally married, but being in the same house, hell no. Nah. Like I had so like I had to leave. And then okay. me and then me personally, me feeling like I had put up with enough shit while I was living there. So it was like once I took myself out of the house, it was like shit, I gotta do me. Now I was doing exactly what you were saying, being completely one thousand with whoever I was fooling with, because I had to give them the choice. And whether or not, you know what I'm saying, to fuck yeah. with, to whether whether or not they wanted to fuck with me or not on that level. Because yeah. because they got, you know, some people got their own beliefs, their religious beliefs. Some people married them. Like, man, bro, the chick that I was fucking, I first started fucking around with, I, she was married. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of that shit, man, you lose yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot to come with it. It's a lot to come with it. And if you're not mature or honest enough with yourself and your emotions and with other people, man, like that could. So, so, so let me ask you this. So let me ask you this. You just spoke to it too. So you saying? You said, yeah, man. I think it is. All right. So let's let's look at it like this. I right, you go and 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 you smash at somebody. Now you didn't already told her. Look here, I'm married. And uh, we working right. on it, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm married. But you proceed to smash. Then you proceed to smash regularly. No, 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 no. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I got to cut. No, you're not smashing regularly. You're not. You're not. So would you? Well, why not? Because feeling, feelings, them feelings catch on, bro. Like, oh, so you're just going to go. You gonna go lily pad to lily pad. You just gonna go lily pad to lily pad. Fuck me. You ain't gonna fuck nobody twice. My nigga. Right, nigga. Like I'm, I'm being one thought. Like, okay, look, Kel. Like, the first I got married young, bro. So it was like, man, I jumped out the porch late. So mentally, how I'm thinking, man, I jumped out the porch late. It's a lot of shit I done missed out. You been cooped up, like you ain't, you ain't been a nigga, bro. Like you been married, you been doing the right. Be a nigga, bro, like, because you only got one life, bro. And it's like, an old school nigga talk, told me that, kid. He was like, say, Jamie, let me talk to you, man. Uh, I heard you were going through a, a separation or a divorce or something. I'm like, yeah. He's like, man, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm going to pray for you. You got any kids with her? I'm like, nah. You got any kids at all? I'm like, nah. He was like, shoot. <laughs> you got... You got any felonies? I'm like, nah. He was like, shit, nigga, you a, you a high commodity, nigga. He nigga, like, you can hey, go man. to the moon, nigga. You should run for president, bro, nigga. Bro, bro, he was like, he was like, how long you been here at, at, at the hospital? I'm like, shit, ten plus years. He was like, nigga, you, hey man, you good, bro? He was like, you need to be staying in the, your stay would need to be full. And they were like, shit, I took what he said and I ran with it. Like, you know what? You goddamn right. Like. 
I ain't got I ain't got the attorney general on my back. I ain't you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't got none of that. I don't have them problems. Do That's you, hilarious, man? bro. But yeah, no, but uh, it's like like you say, man, it be shit that come with that. It be, let's it be flip a lot it. of shit. Let's come flip with it though. Let's What's up? Flip it though. She What's starts up? smashing those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. she starts smashing. And at you that come point, across at that point, you don't you don't care. Get, Fuck, I knew listen, 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 listen. Hold on. Come on, man. And I'm, I'm going to tell you a real situation. It's like, I was so honest with myself. I knew, she, Brown. Was, I knew she was fucking somebody else. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I knew that's she, how the separated came? No, 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 no. The separation thing. I mean, her fucking somebody else, that was like, it was so many other problems before that came into place. Like, we were going through so much other shit that wasn't even sexual or infidelity. It it wasn't none of that. So by the time that infidelity came up, you know what I'm saying, the cheating and shit came about, I was like, shit, what else is what else is new? Like what's you know what I'm saying? I was numb to it. Like I had been oh, checked okay. out. But oh, okay. once See, I found that. out but once I found out who you was fucking, that made all the that made all the difference. Like you fucking somebody that was too close to home, like oh, like, shit. you feel me? So it was Damn. like, yeah, you so supposed to go a, fuck everybody. You supposed to go so fuck everybody. You feel me? So it was like at that point, it was like shit. I risked my freedom over my respect. Like it had got to that point to where man, you just gotta don't separate. risk your freedom, man. Don't risk. No, your freedom. I'm saying out of respect, I know. though. Like out of respect. Say, like, yeah, that shit was like, like you saying in the comments, bro. That shit deep. That shit, that shit deep, way bro. deep. Let that shit. You, so you got so you got to be honest with them people, bro, cuz you could be going to get a, a quick nut and it's like somebody who mentally and emotionally invest, invested been, been sitting in the bushes for 3 days with like a Glock, bro, days. like like with the in your life, bro, like that shit. And I worked in a I worked in the psych ward. So you know, I'm hearing all kind of stories of God knows what from people who married, bro. So it's like man, tread lightly. You know what I'm saying? Man. You got to be yeah, real yeah. with yourself. I'm glad you popped in, Jay Dillon, in the middle For of the sure. show. My God, bro. dog. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck going on? Ganga. Ganga. Turn up, man. What's up? Hey, pretty quick tax services. What's up? Cora Green, thank you for the three badges. That's love. Right at your fingertips. I appreciate that. My lady Rico, what's up? Shri Saji. She was fucking some bum ass nigga. What you mean? Listen, this is how it went. Listen, oh, I like this. Oh, I like that, I think. <clears throat> All right. Listen, I know, I know we was married and I know I said and we just agreed that we was gonna fucking separate and we was gonna marry, we got marriage vows and shit like this. But on some real shit, I can't believe that you was fucking nigga. I thought you was relaxing when I was trucking the shit. Now your ass is fucking and going out on dates. How the fuck are you gonna play me, bitch? I'm Kevin Tate. Listen, my feelings is hurt. I ain't slept in three days. I can't believe that you played me in about six ways. Who is he? How the hell you know him? Where he come from? Far as I'm concerned, his ass is just another bum, bitch. We got four kids. I can't believe you tripling, yo. The way you live, I say you trifling. You smiling, you wildin'. I just went away. I come back, you fucking the homie Jay. Or matter of fact, the homie Craig. I'm tripping, I'm talking too much. <laughs> Turn up. Y'all know what the fuck going on. It's a cold game, man. Y'all best better take the time, spend the time on motherfucking getting your divorce done. Spend time on getting your divorce done. You understand? Spend time on getting your di- spend time on getting your divorce done. Is what you do. Instead of going out there trying some find somebody to lick your wounds, trying to find somebody to lick your wounds and, and, and fill the gaps and give you a little pleasure, you need to focus on motherfucking meditating, drinking your waters, and working on your divorce papers. That's what the fuck need to be happening. That's what need to be happening. You need to be working on your divorce papers. Cora Green, once again, thank you. That's real talk. 
spend time on 16 pumps and all of that. You need to be somewhere focused, doing your motherfucking toe touches and your drinking your shit, your waters and working on your divorce. Get your papers together while you up here toxifying somebody else's life because that's all you're doing. You're either putting dick in them or you're, mother, or you're fucking sitting on them. One of the two. So I'm telling you, leave them alone. Go get your fucking papers together because, fellas, if you keep fucking her, I'm telling you, that's going to be a problem that you ain't going to get rid of, that you think you're going to be able to get rid of, and she think it's hope because she decided to jump on your boat and believe the fact that you said that you separated, so she going to ride. So if you keep putting dick in, it's going to be a problem. Trust me. And if you ain't, I'm telling you. And ladies, if you think you're going to keep playing around with men, think you could just be dating dudes and, and, and hanging out with them and going all over town and shit just because you and your husband is divorced, that nigga live on the east side. His ass don't live on Pluto. That motherfucker is right in the motherfucking city. And you have to understand that one before you put men in those type of situations. Look, I'm married. You understand me? No, I'm not going there with you. Men will shoot, kill, bang, bang, clap, clap. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it goes both ways. Ladies, men are different. That's how it will go down. Stop playing. You understand? Turn up. You say you never want to have to get divorced. That's crazy shit. Hey, turn up. Even if you being honest and you communicate and you tell them you got a wife, Pussy and sex changes things. I don't give a fuck what you sign for on the dotted line. Once you start fucking and sucking and licking and all that, shit change. And everybody want to talk they little talk and talk this little communicate talk and all this motherfucker I'm communicating and we talked about this shit nine months ago. Yeah, we've been fucking for nine months straight. Bitch, you love me. I love you too, bitch. You understand me? You understand me? So that's the danger. And, and, and ladies think they got the handle on how to chill two motherfucking out. Two, two, two people out. You can't chill two men out. That motherfucker ain't taught. That man ain't taught to you. Y'all been married and separated for a year and a half. He ain't called your ass in a year and two months. But let him come over there and it's a motherfucker knocking the lining out that motherfucker. You never know. A nigga be able to pull the motherfucking click clack, pull that thriller out and go crazy and shoot every goddamn thing. I'm telling you. So communicating is one thing. Sex is another. You understand me? You know, and sex is another. And that's real talk. That's just real conversation. You got to love it, too. And it goes both ways. So, you know, turn up. Sharice Shere- IG, what's up? Oh, what's up? What's up? Good to see your face up in this thing. I made it. Yes, I know yes. it's been a minute. Your hair What's looks happening? Pretty. Where the light at, player? I know you got more light than that. Who needs light? You okay, wait. So let me try. It's my sister. Let Sharice. me get some more light. Jeez, mm. I ain't want to be. Like, but you can't right, smoke right? on here though. But you can't smoke on here. You got to lean off the camera to hit it. You see the badges at the bottom? They'll kick me off of that. They'll kick me out. So if you're gonna hit the weed so or show the weed, drug free zone. It's a drug free zone, at least on the screen. <laughs> You got to lean off like uh, Never mind, then. Call me back when you call offline. Me call me back, boo-boo. <laughs> call me back. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> no, when they I, changed that? <laughs> when I started putting them, when they, when they gave me badges on my live, they'd be like, you know, um, you can't. But um, turn up. But uh, listen, they just don't like that type of activity on the screen. That's all. But you hear what we talking about up in this thing. I do. Um, that's a crazy thing because it says, "Is it okay to date?" Is it okay to date if you're married but separated? I would say it is, but it can get crazy because I mean I don't know if you know, but I'm married and I'm actually your I'm your brother. What are you talking about? I don't know. If so, you so this Matt, year, thank you for the actually, three badges. Go ahead. So this year actually would have been. Well, I am still legally married, but it would have been like 20 years married. So anyway, but so we tried the whole, okay, we're going to live, have an open, open relationship. But um, yeah, I am totally confused because I want to like this so bad just to I'm like mine. The spirit. I'm like mine. <laughs> I'm just doing but it anyway, over here. 
so we decided, okay, we're going to separate. And then he lived downstairs in the, in the guest bedroom. I kept the king, you know, the king for the queen. And then he went downstairs. And then, you know, we was, you know, separate. But, you know, it was one of those situations you can't afford to live separate type of thing. But anyway, he was, you know, seeing other people. We weren't, like, you know, still wrestling. Oh, go in the dark. He, Good job. Cleona, I'm sorry. Cleona, y'all see her? This is my sister right here. Go in the dark and you can do your thing. Turn your lights out and you can burn and talk. You the one told me to turn no, on the I thing. Just, somebody said that in the comments. That's a good idea, Cleona. I didn't think of that. You can go back to the dark. But anyway, I cut you off like a motherfucker. Damn. Okay. Well, anyway, so we tried the whole. You lived in the, the separate bedroom, and then we, uh, uh, you know, he would. But that was messing with my mental only because it's like, wait a minute, this yeah. our shit didn't, our shit didn't work out. You mean to tell me I'm about to be upstairs while you out every Saturday night? Like, no, I'm not about to be okay while you're in front of. Me. So eventually, that got a little too heavy. So I had to, you know, do what I needed to do to put an end to that. So you I just. Walked Sneak people house. downstairs on the couch. He was trying to sneak bitches in the house on his part of the house. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. -uh. Let joking. me tell I'm you, joking. no, you I'm can't. Joking. Oh, I'm yeah, joking. no, it was nobody ever. No, I'm just, just to be clear, nobody ever uh was like, oh, let's come to the house. You know what I'm saying? We didn't bring nobody to the house while he lived here. But anyway, so we he moved out because I was like, oh, okay, you gone too long. We can't do this. If you don't come back at a, in a timely matter, you're gonna get locked out. So I locked the door. I locked him out. He couldn't get back in. I took the knob off the screen though, put it in my pocket, and went back to bed. <laughs> um, and then, <laughs> and then. So anyway, so now we in different separate households. So we still legally married, but we are separate. So is it okay to still date? Absolutely, it's okay to still date. But in my situation, when that there's kids involved, I'm not going to bring nobody here to meet my children. So it's like, you know, every relationship is shallow as hell because it's like, it ain't no point in me getting deep into it because you are eventually going to meet my kids and whatnot, and we're not doing that. So, right. But if you keep having interaction with this person, right, you saying you can keep it clean and keep it cool and don't fall in love and don't. But he started to feel entitled to that. Why you can't come out tonight? Because it's Thanksgiving, nigga. Get away from here. But he still feel like he should be able to come over. Well, who can come over? Or not A friend come of mine? Or hook up. Or y'all need to hook up. Or what, what oh, they call well, that's what the red roof is for. That's the what the red, red roof is for. The red roof. God damn it. They have upgraded um but no but that's what you that's what you go and sneak off that's why you got to get with somebody who got their own space now you dealing with somebody who ducking and dodging too y'all won't be in the end up at the goddamn school after dark you ain't got nowhere to live you that'll be up in the, in the goddamn elementary school parking lot after dark when the police roll up and you about to get a damn ticket for indecent exposure you're like how am i gonna explain this to my husband but i'm not saying that happened to me but it could happen so, <laughs> so, but now, Kevin, with the but the plot thing is the whole time we've been married, it ain't never been another guy, another text message, or nothing. So I've been good. But the one thing that flipped him off, the one thing that flipped him off, is when he found out that I brought somebody to the house. Ooh, woo, that was a tough one. Well, he wasn't living here, but I didn't tell him. Guess who told him? Oh Lord, who told him? The dude told him. What? What? This this where they do that at? This unloyal you disrespect. Yes, you yes, exactly. I couldn't believe it. I was like, why would you he was like, Oh well, I didn't know that that was your husband and I knew and then when I found out that that's who you was married to, I just wanted to be transparent. Take that off. Bitch, you ain't even put on the rubber. I was like, first of all, it's not about you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna get in trouble. It's it, I'm I don't. It's not about that. We are not in that same space. But my thought is, why this can't just be between you and me? You know what I'm saying? Why are you informing him so you can sleep good? So anyway, that was the only issue. You know what I'm saying? We were separated, and I think that was the first time he had to. He got whiff of actually somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yo, he's out of pocket, right? Oh. How did they get in the conversation of having that? Oh, man, he got in his M. He jumped in his DMs. 
Right. See, my man was marking his territory exactly. Uh, who said that, my lady Rico? Exactly. That's how. I'm, see, that's the slick way of doing it. Like, yeah, bro, I haven't been to the house, my nigga. I know y'all got the little shit over there, the little plant, the little, little towel shit y'all got in the bathroom. Right. All that. Yeah, I used their best shampoo, my nigga, on my dick hair. I know what's going now, on. Now you know what? Now I'm no picture of health because I done I done creeped in a back door with a guy who not in some guy's back door, but I went into a guy's house that was tried to patch things up with his wife and she was at work. Soon as she went to work, he called me. So I put my damn polo boots on and truck through the mud and went upstairs. I know how she got her damn uh her um, fingernail polish is lined up next to the toilet on the sink. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I saw what she just thought she was going to wear to work that day. Mm -hmm. But so, yeah, that was a crazy situation. But, Yo, you know, this is my sister right here. And uh, I don't know, man. It is. It is what it but, is. Um, oh, my Lord. But, you know, oh, that was God. the only thing. So that was I have really. But also, I was going to say, you know, dating while married. One thing about me is that I have been married so long that this whole dating thing as an adult is new to me. So I'm kind of like really weird and don't never would know what to do with my hands and shit so i'm like you know you know i don't know what to do if you get on these damn weight dating sites everybody is ugly or cross-eyed or something and it's just like mm -mm, i can't do it so now i'm just focusing on going to the gym and building my business and creating new clients. And drinking your waters. Hey, look. I see okay, I've been juicing. I've been seeing your jump rope and this shit. You're getting in. I love it. I love it. Absolutely. I have lost 10 pounds since January. Turn Get into it, it. Okay, I yeah. got goals. I so, you, you know. On. I can see you turning up and shit. Yo, hey, your conversation is funny in here. Squirrel Dollars, what up, though? It's my baby Q. sister right here. Q. Mm. Yo, Q. I just Yo. want him to know that that's how I sound. Say his name when I see him on here. Q. Okay. Three. You oh, be coming man. on here. You be coming on here dropping some bombs, and I be like, I never knew. Mm -mm. I be like, mm -mm. <laughs> don't mm -mm. real talk. I'm talking. I wouldn't even bullshit you, but listen. I love you. I'm good to see your face. I saw you in the comments yesterday in a couple of days. Yeah, Sorry. yesterday. Let me just real quick. We are not going to bring up yesterday at all because that is like a ticking time bomb and we're not going to even do that. But let me tell y'all, that shit went <laughs> on and on and on and on. I was just like, uh, I was like, this is too much. This is supposed was to be. It? Did you turn it off? It was. I didn't know. Well, when my phone died, I went on and went to bed. <laughs> but no, I did turn it off before you got off of there, but it was definitely after you got, you know what I'm saying, after the whole Maury show y'all had going. Yeah, <laughs> Jerry Springer. That was too much. But I was just like, oh, this is too heavy. This is not what I'm here for. Not <laughs> it's too much. But guess what? You, the phone went dead like, God damn it. What the fuck am I going to bed? So, I was good. I had had enough. I was filled. I'm okay. No, I'm, gl I'm glad that you watched it that long. You watched it till your life ran. I said, "Fuck it, I'm out here." So I appreciate. But you. Right. But the only reason why I even was in there was because the same reason why everybody else was in there. Because we didn't know this shit was going on behind the scenes, and we like, what? <laughs> what happened? She did what? Not you got who? I you like in your mind you thought this was a fucking safe space and it really ain't anybody could get it. <laughs> <laughs> My lady you Rico are not safe here. Do. My lady Rico said she was scared to leave. Y'all stupid. You too much. I didn't know what? She was okay. Going. I and what's crazy is. What's crazy is, I I mean, I know I probably, I don't know, people probably hella nice because, you know, I'm related, but I could just imagine if I found out all of a sudden I got kicked off because somebody blocked me, I swear, I swear, I would definitely pull the sister card and be like, uh-uh, pull that bitch out here. Pull it to the front. Pull it to the yard. What? How did you even think? Did you not even know? But, um... It is what it is. So I'm gonna just keep tapping in, and yeah. uh, you. I hopefully you ain't going out of town no time soon. I nah, would have loved keep... to been down there in Atlanta. Oh my goodness, it was fun um, though. But but I know yeah. this. I know this. I've been seeing you kicking and hanging. I'm glad. I love you. I'm glad I see your face. 
Yeah, I love you too, man. All right, that's what it is. And she, hey, listen, y'all talking about funny. She the funniest person in the family, man. Gang, gang. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what it is. Gang, gang. Turn up, man. Come on. Y'all know what it is. Right. Look, on some real shit, I don't feel this. Having a nigga while we separated, bitch. Cause uh, on, as long as my shit in the garage, I don't want to hear about no motherfucking menage. Whether it's at the crib or at the sauna, or whether it's in Jamaica, I don't even want to know. Cause if I do, I'm going to find out and blow the shit up. I done told you, how the niggas at the crib up. Listen. Trying to raise my shit. I'm on with my life, but until these papers come in, you better not be tripe. Got niggas, they looking, they trying to come too. Kevin Tate, this bitch making me go dumb. Fool, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in my motherfucking field tonight, y'all. Fuck it. I can't believe it. We was all in this shit before I knew it, we wasn't fucking. Last thing I know, you in these streets is another dick you sucking. And, uh, bitch, I still pay for this. I still pay for that. You fucked him in that list. Yeah, I'm upset. I can't believe you let the nigga get the pussy whip. I tell you what, give me my sandwich, or give me my wheels, give me my key, yo, give me my bills, give me my blanket, give me my heater, give me my shoes, give me my shit that I put in the bathroom, dude, give me my brand new flashlights and fuse, give me my wrenches, give me my trenches, give me my mayonnaise. Matter of fact, you can keep it, because I'm off mayonnaise, and don't you ever, ever leak it. I'm going to tell you this. I need everything in the back room, and matter of fact, I ain't even coming back, boo. Yeah, I'm pissed off. I need the front yard grass. Yeah, pull it off. Bitch, I just paid. Matter of fact, I ain't through paying. Got another nigga slammed. Bitch. Bitch. Can't believe this shit. Bitch. And I'm going to need my shit out the backyard, too. So tell that nigga if he want to be over here, go get the shit out the backyard. I'm over here all day. I ain't leaving. So all that shit come out the garage. I ain't leaving. So, whatever. I ain't leaving. Tell that nigga get all that shit out of the backyard. I need my fucking shit at the guy out the attic. All that shit in the attic. Bring that shit down or I ain't leaving. Nigga, we can scrap about it, bro. Yeah, nigga, that's me. All this me, nigga. All this me, nigga. All this, all this driveway shit you in, nigga. I paid this whole drive. Matter of fact, move your car, my nigga. We ain't through paying for this driveway. Move your car, my nigga. Somebody come get this nigga. Get your car on my driveway, nigga. We ain't through paying. Bitch, I paid for this. That nigga, until I get to the, to give me half on it then. If you ain't going to give me half on the driveway that I paid to get paid, tell us to get this weak-ass regal out my driveway. Tell us to get this weak-ass regal out my... And move your car, cuz. Move your car, bro. We ain't through paying for this. I ain't through paying for this. Get your shit and get out Get out the driveway, nigga. Park over there, nigga, on that free shit. All oh, this ain't even paid, bro, bro. This paid. This ain't no dirt road, nigga. Get your shit, nigga. Move around, cuz. All this. I did all of this, bro. I don't want you on none of this. Don't even spit over here, cuz. Nah, until I'm gone. I need all this whole shit cleared out, bro. And really? And really, my nigga? Really, nigga? I don't even like the fact that you over here. I know. Say what you want to say. I know your pops put in whatever he put in on whatever we did when we started the house, bitch. But at the same time, you don't have niggas up in my yard, up in my house ever, nigga. As long as my motherfucking daughter in there. As long as my daughter in there. Whenever I have my motherfucking daughter, hey, my nigga, I tell you what. As long as my daughter in there, nigga don't ever have this nigga over here on some real shit. So... That's how I feel about that, my nigga. All this shit is me, nigga, until I'm gone. Every time I pull up, nigga, come go get your keys, nigga. Really, I'm through with you being over here, bruh. Don't make me bring the thriller over here. Don't make me bring the thriller the next time, bruh. Y'all niggas better meet at the red roof, nigga. Meet at the motherfucking red roof, nigga. Meet at the motherfucking red roof. I don't give a fuck. Meet at the motherfucking red roof. All that shit. Come on up out of there. I got a motherfucking regal in the dry. Move all that shit up out of here. Nigga leaking oil. Nigga get this shit out the driveway. Get you fucking with a nigga with a regal, bitch. And, and if he want to fuck with him, nigga help me get all my shit out the backyard. I don't give a fuck. Come on. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> to a hot nigga to be. All your PVC pipes I just bought from the Lowe's. All them PVC pipes. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, all that got to come out of there, man. Run all my shit, man. Run all my shit up out of there, man. Pull that. That flat screen in the other room. Yeah. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's 47 inches. That bitch coming off the wall, bitch. I don't give a fuck how much it is coming off. It's fat. 
The little small. I don't care if it's small or what, bitch. Yeah. And while you playing, give me that gold remote because that gold remote is mine, bitch. Yeah. That that gold remote is mine. I don't know your son. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Yeah, I'm for real. Lusted drug for the week. Mix after two. What's up? I need the microwave and I don't give a fuck what's in it. If it's in my white microwave, it's mine. Yeah, bitch. Well, I'm getting grilled salmon and rice, bitch, with a little bit of uh cola uh 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 cola salt on that motherfucker. That's gonna be mine. Come on. Starlight, thank you for the three badges. That's love. Appreciate you. I need all my shit. Yes, the other half of my Subway sandwich. Because the bitch is trying to keep your leftovers and niggas be slipping. You be to move all that shit out of there. As soon as you get in the truck, nigga, and light your blunt, hit that bitch, smoke that bitch, you're going to be looking for your leftovers, nigga. And they're going to be in that refrigerator just because she put half on the refrigerator, nigga. Mass Poet, what's up? What's up, bro? How you doing? I'm chilling, man. I'm tripping, man. What's good? You want the gold remote I back? I need the gold PlayStation remote, my nigga. I need it, bro. Come on out of there. I feel you. got you. this nigga over there. All my you got, I need all that. Come on out of there. Yeah. All my shit. Run my shit back. Run my shit back. That little, that, that little new little AC, I put in your son window. I'm going to kick that bitch out tonight. Right out. I'm going to fuck with three stories up. But uh, <laughs> I left the pen over there. I left the pen over there. Bring that shit back, too. Real talk, man. Damn, man. We locked in. So check it out, man. All right. Why you why you doing that? I'm gonna take this with you. He talking about I'm all right. He talking about I'm gonna heat up the cold slot entertainment. <laughs> Nigga, I'm gonna heat up the cold slot. <laughs> I'm cooking spinach in the microwave, broccoli in the microwave, bitch. <laughs> hey every day. Hey, I'm gonna heat up the cold slot, cuz fuck it, man. It's cool if you don't go crazy, bro. But it's hard to hook up a goddamn rare uh medium well steak and some cold slaw and the same plate out the refrigerator without <laughs> <laughs> burning mayonnaise. But anyway, man, what you see, if you and we out on this topic, man, right. is it cool to date? So I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, uh, separated for a minute. Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. See, it's okay. You, I, you I come it, with this. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Because I think sometimes you got to clear your head. I think you got to clear your head. Now, you got to do it respectfully. I didn't do it really respectfully. But you got to do it respectfully. You got to have a conversation. I don't think you should be out here moving around without having that understanding that I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here doing what I'm doing or whatever. Because that's when the shit get dicey, right? You got to have a conversation yeah. um, on both sides. But to be honest, I didn't care if my ex-wife, I didn't really give a fuck at that point. When she left, I didn't really care what she was doing. I assumed she was getting her knees met because I was getting mine met. And we stayed divorced for a minute. Well, separated for a minute. And it wasn't until, like, I got serious with somebody else that I really started doing some research on how how to best get this divorce cracking. We tried it a couple times, you know what I'm saying, trying to make it work and shit like that, but... You know, we never made it work. As a matter of fact, I never even hit it after she left. I never hit it again. Mm, that's good too, though. <clears> that somebody said they're yeah. gonna cheat. Like we tried. Like she came over. She came over. Um, you know, spent night. We spent nights in hotels and shit like that. Ran her bath water and shit like that. But I never hit it again. Her bath water, huh? Because uh, I never wanted to go back into that. Because, you know, sex confuses shit. You like to get in the tub and shit. You know shit, what I'm saying? Huh? So, you like to get in the tub with women or you like to just run their bath water? It, it depends on how big the tub is. Good point. I was gonna ask, you know I was going to get at you like my dog. Shit, them tubs. Be yeah, it depends it depend on it. Because, be you know, I only like taking showers together because cold. if it ain't done right, if it ain't overhead, you a cold you're motherfucker cold, in the man. back of that motherfucker. You know Everything what I'm cold. So ain't nobody trying to be back there like you looking at you know what I'm saying? So shower curtain, but go ahead, man. Like I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just not conducive. So unless the motherfucker's hanging in the middle, it's not conducive. Yeah. So I'm feeling that. Man, listen, man. I'm glad you came to fuck with us. You said, hey, you said it is cool. So basically you saying the shit. You cool, because you kind of like me with it. I'm like, shit, man. <clears throat> 
Once we separate, I'm gonna assume you fucking somebody, whether you is or you ain't. Cause I gotta get my mind together. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna assume you fucking yeah. somebody so I can keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But listen, once we separate, even in a girlfriend boyfriend status, I'm not fucking with you no more because I don't know. I gotta be sure that I'm. You know what I'm saying? Because by the time I leave, I'm probably fucking raw anyway. I know that's a lot for the camera. But I'm probably fucking raw by the time I leave. Nigga, I got fire so on my shoulder. It ain't no problem. I got fire on my shoulder. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. Once I leave, I'm not going back in there because I really don't feel comfortable. I know a nigga hit it before I got there. I know there's going to be a nigga after me. But while I'm in there, I can't know that there's another nigga in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling that. So even with a girlfriend, boyfriend status, I just can't, I can't do it. I'm feeling that. Tunisia, Tunisia, Yulia, what's up, though? Welcome to the Zodiac Show. Well, man, Mads, yeah. poor, so, man, I'm yeah, glad this, this, Definitely. Listen, this was a conversation Thank for you, though. That's my guy, man. He be having a conversation for you when he pop on. He don't be bullshitting. Word up. Gang, gang, y'all know what it is, man. Turn up. <clears throat> Come on. Raw Dini, Raw Dilla. Yo, you gotta love it here, man. It's only that show, man. No place I'd rather be. Come on. Jay Dilla, thank you for the badge, bro. That's love. Thank you, brother. Starlight, thank you for the badge. Shaquana, thank you for the badge. Gospel, help us. What's up? Go get my girl. Oh, hold on. I gotta go get my guy. I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna go get my guy. Ain't no options, though. What the hell are you talking about, Tunisia? Ain't no options, though. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh. yes. Can man, what up, though? Hey, what's up, man? Oh shit, you done fell asleep. Well, we got you, bro. <laughs> no, I was, I was, bro. It's funny, little man. What up, though? Welcome to the Zodiac Show, bro. Good to see you. What's up? Man, you hear we talking about this moment. Where you see this conversation? Where you at with it? Uh, well, back in the day when I separated from my wife, I dated. So, I mean, and I feel that, you know, you choose marriage. You choose to be married every day that you, you know, wake oh, up yeah. when you're with somebody. But once you out that mug, you out. I mean, it, Right, you really recognize. That, yeah, it's all that legal stuff that has to be, you know, taken care of some point yeah but is it do you get a feeling of when you finally leave or separate even if y'all have a divorce or not when you separate do you have a feeling of like oh shit oh shit i'm out here have you ever had that you know what i mean like wow i'm really out here you feel me? yeah i mean when i when i separated with my wife i was 20 I was in my late twenties. <laughs> I don't remember exactly when it was. This is a while back. And I started wild and I was out, you know, partying and this, that and the other and and everything. I wasn't even thinking about, you know, getting back in the home. So so yeah, I mean I you know, I started dating. Shoot, I went and went off and fell in love and all that crap, but you know, eventually, you know What was the hold up on a divorce? What was the hold up on a divorce? Um no, nah, there really wasn't even a hold up. We just, so I think we were separated for almost eight months. And um, we went to the lawyer and started to draw everything up and everything. And we just But in the meantime, them. but in the meantime, while they writing them papers, you out here knocking them down. <clears throat> well, I was, not too many, but yeah. <laughs> you wild though. No, nah, man, it's good, man. How you been? You been good? Good to see you, man. How's everything been with you? Oh man, I, I <laughs> it's been rough lately. I tell you the truth, it's been real rough for me lately. Yeah, you know, just going through everything that we went through at the beginning of the year and stuff. And then I told myself I wasn't really going to talk about this, but um, last Wednesday night I was driving to work. Yeah, passed yeah. out at the wheel, man, and like went through an intersection and jumped a curb and then ran straight to a brick wall. What? Yeah. You all right, dog? I mean, my lower back's killing me. My chest hurts. 
my yeah, you know, my chest and my shoulder from the seat belt and all that stuff. What happened to your and, legs? Uh, nothing happened to my legs, just my lower back and my uh my like tailbone. So tailbone. what happened, dog? I mean, how, what the fuck? It's the craziest thing, man, because I felt normal, felt just fine. Took all my medication before I went to work like I normally do, you know, because I drive all the way into Cincinnati to go to work. You a driver? Uh, no, I was I was driving to my job. Okay. You know, I work at the, I work at the, the factory. Uh, it was a chemical plant, but anyway. Yeah. Um, I was about a mile and a half, or what, half away from work, dude, and just assed out at the wheel. I wasn't sleepy, tired, nothing. Well, what just, you think it was the drug? No, I mean, um, when I got out of the car and the EMTs got there and stuff, and uh, the police were talking to me, they asked me if I was diabetic. And I said, yes. So they took my my uh, blood sugar level there, you know, and it was uh, 139, which is, for most people, is, that's normal. For me, I run real high. I run like 250 to 300. That's normal for me. So it being that low, that's really the only thing I can think that was the reason what happened to me. Right. So let me ask you this. How are you dealing with the pain? Um, they got me on muscle, a muscle relaxer. You know, I'm not trying to take any pain pills because, I mean, I got to I got to take all kinds of other medication anyway. <clears throat> and I'm not a big pain pill person, but um, I'm just trying to deal with it. You know, I'll be off work this week and then, uh, you know, hopefully I get everything straight and be back at it next week. <laughs> Yo, you know what? You know this Zodiac show, Jay Dilla dumb as hell. He said you were just hungry, cuz. And sometimes, bro. <laughs> sometimes. I know this is Zodiac show. But sometimes niggas just be so hungry, you be like, yo, I'm fucking famished. I'm fading away. Like, yo, somebody give me a chicken nugget in this bitch before I die. You know what I'm saying? I wish I, wish I could say that that was it, man. But, I like, I ate dinner. I got up, I got dressed, got showered. You know, I did everything like I normally do. So, I mean, I, I really, other than the fact that they, they said that my blood sugar was low, I can't really, I, can't, I don't have no explanation for what happened to me. Well, man, let me tell you something, man. I'm glad you're here, dog. I fuck with you, man. The Lord was with you, too, man. And uh, I'm, I'm glad you get healthy, man. You ever heard of CBD oil? Yeah, I've heard of it. You ever heard of, all right, you ever thought about it? You ain't really with that? I mean, I guess. I don't really know how that would help me very much as far as, you know, my normal. Well, right. CBD in the sense of pain. Oh, okay, for pain, yeah. Yeah. I usually just try to run, yeah, I just try to, you know, put my head down and get through it. All right. Well, it's an oil, but I, bro. I tell but... you know, when you when you when you try to when you get to the point to where if you sit down it hurts it's, you stand up it hurts you walk it hurts it's like damn something's got to stop. How's it getting your shower? Can you get your showers, bro? Yeah, yeah, I can get them. Um, I get your like showers. I, said, I know I got, them a motherfucker. Yeah, that's like I was tripped out because I don't even I don't even bruise very easily, right? Like I'm not the type of person that gets bruises and stuff. But my lower back and tailbone, all that. It's all bruised up. It's like, it's crazy. Damn, man. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. For real, man. You never know, man. So I'm glad you're safe. Like I say, man, read some of these comments. A lot of people saying a lot of stuff. Give you something to peel through. You know, at least to just look at. It. You feel me? All right. Thanks, That's sir, man. Thanks, man. You, sir, and I appreciate it. No question, Peace man. Up. That's my guy. Peace up. You already know. Gang, 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 gang. Come on. Zodiac show, y'all. No place I'd rather be. I'd love to hear. Game, game, game. Come on. Much love to my dog, Cam, man. Get healthy, nigga. Real. I know where it is. Come on. Where they at? See who up in this thing, man. <clears throat> oh man, about eight people up in. I right, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I tell you what I'm gonna do. 
Let's see how my weebles on there, cause they was. Uh, well, you know what? I don't know. It's, I'm gonna tap on. Um, I'm gonna tap on. Um, Libra, what's up? Squall dollars, what's up? Come on. Hold on, I'm gonna put this vibe first. Put this vibe. Give me a 30 second time. I'm gonna put this vibe on y'all. Come on. <laughs> Thank you for the bag. That's love. Thank you. Guys of the heavens, what's up? Oh, what's going on, Kevin Tate? Come on, you knew I was coming up in this thing. Stop playing. Hold what's on, where are you coming from? You? Where is y'all coming from? Uh, we did a live today. We had an interview with your girl. Um, Diva that, uh, Lord, I can't even pronounce the girl's name right. We had an interview tonight on Instagram Live, and so that's where we've been. And had an excellent talk with one of our comedian sisters. Yes. Who? Oh. oh my God. Uh, D. Uh, Tavita. I, 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 no, I, I can't. I have trouble pronouncing my sister's name, but she's in your live right now. Um, and I met her through you. Uh, God damn it! I, what's her? What, off ground. What did start off ground? What did start with? Off ground. <laughs> you let you know what my mind is at. Uh, was it Davita? She be on here. Yeah. Davida D. That's it. it. Yes, thank you. I can't tell you, Davida. Davida D, what up, though? Yes, Lord, God, my, my mind's back. We had, too, we had too much damn fun with her. Oh, yeah, she's a ball of energy, too. Good people. Yes, she is. So you got questions about separation and dating, huh? Yes, and the topic is, and first of all, I knew y'all had been somewhere because I see your edges, and them bitches is late. Look like at this fool with the damn licking the head and shit. Like this shit there, yes, nice and smooth. That's no, I'm just right up in the front. Yours too. Now you got the salt and pepper. You got the look. I got my shit twisted up. I I took the weave out, boo. I took. I no, got don't braid all my breathe. shit. Just give me three South Central braids right here by my ear. <laughs> Why they gotta be South Central braids? Because you, you, but you pretty. You can do whatever you want to do. We had to, go, we had to go to the Crenshaw route. Okay, got you. Happy Crenshaw birthday. Crenshaw, good um, place. Chris, a place. <laughs> yes, happy so, birthday to yeah, one of your Zodiac has got a birthday day, Jermaine oh. Compton. Jermaine Compton, happy birthday, dog. That's right, yeah. that's right. On the Zodiac show, man, all up, man. Let's quote. Somebody, uh, look. Uh, Hold on, it's a birthday man. party. Y'all brought it up. Come on. Hey, it's your motherfucking birthday, Jermaine Compton. Hey, two hey. masters, boo. Hey, hey. Jay Dillon, stop hey. that. You should see my feet right now. 
You're not looking like a little person that's stamping their feet and shit on the ground. <laughs> like Martin's character. <laughs> Where you get that kid with the runny nose? <laughs> Even God. Hey, happy birthday, dog. Happy birthday to my dog, Jermaine Compton. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's our ace, ace boom crew. The cover wasn't around, but we fit you a meal. You we, know, you we, all when this shit's over with, dog, we're going to do the patio deal. We got you. It, it's his birthday, y'all. Make some that's noise. Right. Come on, two masters. What's up, girl? Come mm -hmm. on. What's up, two masters? Turn up. Y'all know what the fuck going on. So, look, I need some answers from y'all. Yes. I need some answers from y'all. Is it okay to date somebody if you married, but you separated? Yeah. It's gonna cause problems. Well, look, look, look. My thing is, quit walking in, G. Marriage no. is the marriage and the whole t going down the aisle shit is man made shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every time you have sex with someone, you legally married in God's eyes. So we all been married. Okay. But. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you been you, married too, Kev. You just didn't know it. No, listen, boo. <laughs> He said, boo. You can't. That's like oh, putting a, like that. because that's like putting a fella felony on a nigga in the dating world. Like <laughs> you can't be. just put no dating felony on me to all everybody that been met. No, no. Soul ties. Thank you, boo. Thank you. It's mm. the truth. It's facts, Kev. And I'm guilty too. Yeah. I've been married and divorced a couple times. A couple times. Okay. okay. You whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I can't no, you can't no make this shit. Two much. times. Like, what the fuck going on with you? <laughs> You need to get your shit together. It's you, goddamn. It's you. <laughs> He's married now. You like, you want to marry me? You going to pay all, for all of this little food we eating over here? All right, fuck it, I'll marry you. It's I'm you. Speak, I've been speaking truth now. But if you're legally married on paper and you decide, okay, we're not going to work out, so we're going to separate. So when you separate, yeah, true enough. You guys are not going, you know, you're not going to revisit this situation anytime soon. No, no. So you think you're okay to go out and just, you know, dip a couple of honeys, ladies, dip a couple of dudes, but then somebody uh, may get, I'm just saying, I'm just uh, saying. Uh, uh, it's two of these niggas. It's two of these niggas. Hey, I'm, I'm shooting the whole, I'm shooting my phone. I'm basing it off Jay Dillon's conversation, okay? Oh, Jay Dillon, not him. Because Jay Dillon's on that hit and quit. Okay, now don't get too attached. So if it's a Jay Dillon situation, Fine, because you're not trying to get emotionally attached. The only problem men fail to realize is that most women, when they have sex, they have an emotional attachment. And that's not especially easy. Especially if it's good. Yeah, if, especially <laughs> if it was good. <laughs> like, nigga, where you going? Where you going now? I got a sandwich for your ass. I got a, I got a thin steak with onions. Come eat this <laughs> thin steak. Come eat this thin steak, nigga. Hey, look, I, I got a special down. place for you, boo. Where them 16 bucks at? Yeah, first thing you want to do is say, lay down. Why is you leaving? Lay down. Everything is right. That's when you hey, look Kev, up, fellas. Kev. Hey, fellas. That's Kev. when you wake up, fellas. I got fellas. some more black cobbler hey, for fellas, you. Hey, fellas, fellas, fellas. That's when you wake up, and they got the food tray over you in the bed. Got nigga. The old food tray that you clamp, pull one out that way. Nigga, they got eggs, they got thin steak, nigga, they got the Everything. remote control, nigga, they got weed, nigga, they got a shot of Hennessy, nigga, you ain't gonna never you. get out the bed. Eye is all good. I you ain't gonna you. never get out the bed, my nigga. She gonna bring a piss bucket. <laughs> she gonna bring a piss bucket to the bed. Like, what's this? No a piss, piss right bucket? Here. Hold this bitch, okay? Hold up, hold I up. Can't, I can't what you can. All of this bucket. Take this shit to the bedside. You ain't going to the bathroom. You ain't doing shit. Just let, just roll over and pull it out. Look, 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 look. Not in my bed. These are good sheets. <laughs> get your ass in that toilet, okay? Don't get up in there, but I'm going to follow you in there and put my hand on the door along you in there. You finished? What you doing in there? Now you need me to hold it? What? No, get but, your ass in the shower. Come on out of there. I'm going to drink this Hennessy. You know, as well as I do, Kev. Stupid. <laughs> Not most people could do that separation situation and date. You know what I'm saying? Because people can become territorial. They also can get caught up in their feelings. <coughs> so let's just say one of the partners is feeling like, hey, there's a possibility we could work this out. Now, yes. usually if it's a man on that end, y'all don't like used goods. You know what I mean? 
Even though y'all may have, I'm just saying, most men don't like used goods, even though we were separated. And Kevin know he the same way. He don't like no run down car. You don't you don't like no thrift shop booty. So we good. Thrift shop coochies. That booty. that don't mean but, that mean that won't mean I won't knock down some. <laughs> don't get my name fucked up out here. Don't mean I won't knock down, don't don't I won't knock down no thrift store pussy. God damn it now. I might not me. lock on to him. But your ass you is better. You better hope that. But you go. You go check out the specials at least, okay? I, I'm just saying you gotta be careful with that little you know, that store co coochie like that. You may fuck around, bring something home that you ain't want. Right, let me tell you, some good steak in the dollar store. I'm, no, I'm you know joking. what? You I'm know, know what? I'm still, no, but I I have you ever you. looked at the dates on the steak? Have you ever picked up a steak in the dollar? You know what? No. No. Like on the real like this shit. I gotta eat it today. I gotta cook it I'm today. A, I'm a That's like right. this shit. That's like buying sushi at the gas station. No, no. But wait, I gotta cook this shit today. But girl, look at the size of this motherfucker. You know what? This shit got slime on. I don't know. Look, where's that bitch off of tenderizing? So hey, I'm not that shit. Boy, you know we are gonna beat that bitch down, squeeze some lemon on it, cause you know we think lemon kill everything. We lemon you know and put what? a little the too, time man. on it. Some lemon and vinegar on that bitch. So why does this shit taste like vinaigrette? But I'm going to be honest with you. I will not. I would rather not deal with the man coming straight out of a divorce. He may change his mind. Mm -hmm. um, until that paperwork is done, you will not see my drawings. What are you going to see? No parts of the pussy. <laughs> you going to turn the lights off? Well, no, I'm right. not letting. He can't see. He, no, I, I just don't trust that. That's not just, in the car, not in the bar. Not, yeah. in, not, <laughs> not at the park. Look, not with a mouse, not in the house. <laughs> what, about, what, 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 what if, like if you Larry just what if, what, what if you just put your head in the back seat at the park and I'll stand up and open why, the door why, and, and, look, and look over the roof you and hit it. Can, and then I can't do it. Start on laughing his ass. He crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep a lookout. I, I just ain't messing with no man coming out no situation. If that paperwork ain't done, mm -hmm. boy, you don't need to know what I'm working with. Can't get out the fucking car. Get out the car. Get out the car. They coming. They coming. They coming. Hold this bitch up. Hold that. Hold this bitch up. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Do it. <laughs> mm -mm. You know damn well. Y'all well can't. You ain't going for that shit. Jay Dill, you ain't brushing up against nothing, okay? <laughs> he tell me he gonna brush up against some shit, but yeah. No, nah, but I mean know. it's a dangerous game. It's a dangerous game that women play if they decide to play that game, because right. men are different when it comes to that. Like we could be off. Some men could be off their girl for a while and then look up and find out it's somebody else. Man, yeah, y'all get territorial. Look, trust I know. I I I, got, I have one sniffing around still. <clears throat> what you do? <laughs> Who you doing? <laughs> let, 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 let me holler at you. Holla, 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 holla. We're going to do it. We're going to holler yeah. at you. But y'all Yo, know that's a dangerous like a game. You got legal paperwork. You got a situation. You may even have kids in the mix. So when you go out here playing like you're single and you haven't legally done so, that's a dangerous situation it to play is. with. It really is. Especially if one spouse may be a little cuckoo. And even if you play the Jay Dillard, hit and quit it, you may actually run into that individual that may be so obsessed. Like, oh, damn, damn. damn threw it down. I can't let him go. He said it was going to be one time. And I, I wanna... made that steak for his ass. What's wrong with What's him? What's wrong with him? He don't want me no more. You know the sound so, is good. So have, let me ask you this. Have either one of y'all ever slept with a married man? Never mind. Don't no, ask look, look, that. Look, 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 Cam, Cam, Cam. Look, I, I, I'm gonna plead the fifth. <laughs> you got it. You got would, it. No, Good no, no, answer. No. I Good was answer. Dumb and dumb. Good and you answer. Know what made me stop, you know what made me stop fucking with him? When he brought his kid around me. Nigga. Who would be like? Yeah. This ain't the reunion. I was Fuck. young and dumb. Bitch, get me out of here, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Because I know it was a cab. I know it wasn't no Ubers out. I know it was a cab. The woman in me said, bitch, this ain't right. This ain't right. You can't bring your kids around. <laughs> Time out. Starlight just said everybody has. All right, here come the goddamn police. Starlight said everybody done fuck somebody husband or wife. God damn it. What choice? It's what true. Are we gonna do? But, but, but were you young and you dumb? You do? Because I was in my 20s when I talked to this dude. If you ask me now, would I do it? No. I would never do it. 
you grow mature, and I know if it was my husband, I'd be ready to scratch a bitch eyes out. So no, I would not do that. Kevin, come on now. We got papers. Was, you know what? You I that's mine. See, everybody want to be controlled by papers. Were you born with papers? Was was Adam and Eve yeah, born? Yeah, you got birth certificates. But birth certificates a whole lot. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve ain't had no motherfucking birth certificates. But they was look, out Kev, here. Kev, they was Kev, out Kev, here. Like, I just nigga, they told you, here. you legally married once you hit it in God's eyes, but you looked at me crazy. Well, shit. How many husbands you got? Adam and Eve. All right. Well, look. How many husbands you got? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 sir. I have not hit but one man in the past couple of years, and I mean a couple of years. I don't yeah, but I said, what's your... Like I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. No, you, no, no, no. you won't know all my no, sex parties. No, that what you want <clears> to <throat> No, nah, I, I ain't in no position to be asking you no questions like that, lady. It's all good, mm -hmm. though, but y'all conversation... You went, well, how many, how many wives have you had, Kevin? Excuse me? Excuse I've me? I've never been nothing. married. No, how I'm saying I've never been married. The spiritual wife. Spiritual wife. I've never been married. Spiritual wife? Oh, you talking about... Not, not I do it. She got a ring on it. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, you talking? How many times have I been in a situation where I dealt with the smashed? married woman? Oh, no, married no, no. How many women have you smashed, baby? Just smashed. Girl, I don't talk That's like that. How many times you been fucking married? Like, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. I, I'm just saying, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't want to fuck with marriage. I'm good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'd rather do it the way the Lord say. Once you have sex, you are married. And when I'm tired of your, each other, we get the fuck out. <laughs> Sound good. I, I don't. Mm. And girl, I'm carrying no version. Who's <laughs> 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 a virgin? <laughs> do y'all really think this Gemini's a virgin? <laughs> I mean, I love Ken. Don't get me wrong. I think Ken's a sweetheart, but a virgin? Mm. I have a no. No, I have a son. What do you mean? That, well, that was a comment that was just messed up. I was like, I know, I yeah. saw it. I saw it. It was, I saw it was it a mad conception. Look, no, the son was a mad conception. You never had sex. What you do to stay over the bed? Mm. There you go. Right there. <laughs> you crazy right there. That's what I'm saying. Uh, easy to go, uh, girl. I ate patty melts on that night. What the fuck you talking about? Patty melts and slush. You got that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't. I was just talking about that. I was thinking that damn thin, slimy ass steak in the refrigerator. What the hell are you talking about? So <laughs> you, you ain't ate it yet. Hey, I knew y'all. Hey, I knew y'all was trying to set me up. Tomorrow. Come on, ask me something. That's how women be. Ask me whatever. I'm, I'm like, like, if you gonna bring it, and then as soon as I ask, she's like, Nah, how many motherfuckers you done fuck like? Excuse <laughs> me. Check. But see, I know it's too many comments because I already, me and my girl Ella already said, look, you spiritually married once you have sex. Bust one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Boo said Libra got eyeshadow popping. That's my 80s look I had going on today, y'all. I had my 80s going on. <laughs> Kim's facial expressions be killing me. Uh, yeah, but yeah, crazy, yeah. Well, look, you already know what you was in for when you brought us on, so we yeah. have to bring our truth to the table. And the truth is, y'all know damn well whether you separated. And the thing I don't get is people be separated for years before they legally get divorced. Right. Yeah, ain't What's that about? What's I have no that? idea what that's about. If it's the divorce process, or if they're just, if one person is taking their time getting that process done. Somebody being paid, they just sign the papers. Let's get this done. I'm like, so let's just, if we're going to do this, look. Who is this nigga out there? Hey, who? Hey, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm leaving. What happened to my shit that was upstairs? What happened to my shit that was upstairs? You know, we're slow ass leaving. You've been leaving for five years. Get your ass Where's my lawnmower? That lawnmower ain't working 16 years. I don't give a fuck. Give me shit. My old boy daddy. You ain't got shit in here. It's working. Everything rusty. Get your ass on. My old boy daddy. And whatever else you had, I packed it up, boo. Go on, move it around. That's why I said, I don't know. I ain't fuck with marriage. And I ain't shitting on marriage. All right, well, I got to get something out the house. <laughs> the money, look, look at. Tell me where it is. I put it in the U-Haul box. I don't want to tell. I didn't tell you where it was in the first place. See, 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 so you the brother don't want to leave nowhere. You know the coochie good. I ain't trying to go too far. Yo, I love like, my keys back there. See, it's about tell me. I ain't, and my head's wire over there, Kevin. I got to get my shit, boo. I ain't tell you in sixteen years. You think I'm gonna tell you now? Let me in the house. My shit in there. <laughs> and I want. And that's my goldfish. That I need You know today. what? We fighting over the fish, my nigga. We, we, we can't have a fish. I'll use a motherfucking lot. I mean, fuck that. I bought the rocks in this bitch. Nah, I'm nah, staying until I get my goddamn fish dog. tank rocks. You can have the dog and walk this motherfucker. The I fish, pay I'll for keep the fish it. tank rocks, bitch. <laughs> <I need> <laughs> <laughs> nigga, 
dude, what you want for ten dollars? I give you back ten yeah. fish rocks over now, guys. I this. paid for the fish tank rocks, bitch. You drain it. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm not leaving. Instead, I drain get my fish tank rocks, bitch. I've been. <laughs> this nigga, look, this nigga ain't going nowhere. I can't have no more new booty friends. I'm telling Cause you. Because he is straight cock blocking. I'm you not leaving until you give me my fish tank rocks. No, nah, I ain't breaking. We talking about the fish. You talking about the fish in the tank, right? Okay, don't give me that shit. Oh, I ain't got. That, I ain't got no fish. <laughs> <laughs> You talking about the fish? Fuck that. I want my fish tank rocks, bitch. I'm not leaving till they come drain this bitch. Rocks. You can get oh. these damn rocks. You can get this coral take, centerpiece. Take you can your get all ass. Shit. Look, take your ass to Petco. A bag don't cost but three dollars. It'll go fuck that shit. Exactly. Mm -mm. I will give you your twenty dollars with your sixteen pumps. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> fuck that. Run my shit. Cause I tell you what, I bet y'all don't leave this. Yeah, don't talk to my driveway. Don't you ever date nobody like me? Because we be some fighting motherfuckers. Do you know that? Because you ain't getting no I'll be a winning motherfucker. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be a winning motherfucker. Hey, Compton, you don't know how I love fish, goddammit. I, yeah. I, I, I love you some fish. You ain't getting the fish, no the rocks, my nigga. I'm sorry. You want to take your ass like you said the pet <laughs> Take your ass straight to Pepco. Get your ass a coupon to get you some new ones. You know? <laughs> Look, they use my phone number. They got they got a discount on my number. Oh my god! <laughs> Kim, I don't know why you start shit with the fish though. I don't know why you want to go there. I'm go telling there? you straight up, no, nah, because you thought you thought you was about to leave up out of here with that bitch. I'm staying. I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> Until y'all figure this rock situation out. Goddamn fish tank. Rock. You wrong, wrong Kim. This is what I'm gonna do. You you mm -hmm. fuck with my fish, I'm holding your can hostage. You understand yeah. me? Oh, yeah, I, I got I'm, all the blunts. I'm, I'm holding your can, your goody can hostage. Blunts? If you <laughs> hold my fish hostage, I got your blunt can on hostage like that. Yeah. 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 Red, red, red yeah. Well, tell your thirsty ass new man to come drink this fish tank water. So yeah, why you gotta be thirsty? And, and then I'm out of here. And I'm gone. Yeah, why you, and you, ain't, you ain't got to see me no more. Tell them to come drink this goddamn, this all these little fake coral them drink all this shit. They try to get my rock. Right. Come fight me for the fish, nigga. Let's okay, fight. We're going to fight. We're going to wrestle. And you know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Turn until y'all don't made up. Okay. For about 10 minutes. I'm going to lay out this damn twisted pad. And we're going to work this shit out. I'm tell you something. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm going to be around this motherfucker to every blue rock. To every goddamn blue rock. Is it about, is that just me? <laughs> this big one. Kevin, Kevin, don't look at my old fish. He don't have some blue rocks in that motherfucker. I feel the fish don't care, so fuck you had a fish. Oh, they gonna steal this shit. <laughs> he gonna steal that shit. <laughs> they gonna steal That's why you wrong. That's why you wrong. Exactly. They gonna steal this shit, man. That shit system. But you know you're oh. wrong, Kev. You know damn well we ain't gonna do this while we separated. Either you bring your ass back, we work this shit out, or we go ahead and get this divorce finalized. Period. I don't have time to be sneaking around and then you getting your feelings if you see me with the next dude and vice versa. Look, I'm going to be over there cleaning the fish in, in, in high heels and a thong. Nigga, you want this fish or what you want? Oh, my God. I want my rock. <laughs> I want my rock. And I want this nigga to get the fuck out my driveway that I paid for. Go get out there on them. Go get at a meter, got, nigga. I'll send rocks. you brick by brick. We ain't doing this shit. You ain't gonna have no damn construction truck in our damn driveway. Take it down. Well, shit. tell dog to beat it then. Tell dog to get the fuck out of here then. We'll figure it out. Dog, now, we, look, now, we, gotta never, I, we gotta talk. We gotta talk about the driveway. I disrespect my ex husband by having a nigga already in there now. We done went to his house. We're not fucking in front of the fish care or the Motel we, 6. We on the, you ain't lying. <clears throat> yeah, I don't care what y'all do. But I need them rocks out of there. You can fuck with you. Oh, nigga, fuck. it ain't about the rocks. It ain't about it the ain't rocks. About no damn. It's about getting this nigga out of my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Since you want to ask, Since you want to ask, you want to know what it's about? You want to know what it's about? Get this nigga out of my driveway. It's about getting this nigga out of my driveway. Look, please, his ass is crazy. Park, park down your ass on the street. Get like, this park. nigga out of my driveway. I don't park. give a fuck. Look, he a fucking Gemini from Detroit. His ass is crazy. Park that shit two blocks down the street. At the Red Roof. Hey, get your ass. <laughs> ah, why the Red Roof? All right, they, I guess they upgraded. Get one of them lot parking nah, spots. Nah, I can't lay my booty down on no cheap ass fucking hotel. I don't do hotels. You oh. gonna get this nigga out this driveway. You Take know what? Somewhere. You 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 gonna come and stop fucking with me? See, my if pizza. anybody was married to Kev and that was a situation, Man, I feel sorry for you her. have to have a back cage because anything he was suspect when he walked out, I smell another nigga's cologne. Somebody been eating my thin steak. 
it's some shit going on. I don't need that from you, Kev. So we're going to be all right. <clears throat> Kev, I can see you doing that shit. You be like that bitch from um, when she's talking about who moved my cat. Misery. Yeah, he read that bitch from misery. Yeah. Who moved my fucking statue? That bitch was from the east now. She's she facing west. <laughs> I ain't told y'all nothing but facts. Oh, so what you got me doing your head like this, Kev? You like it wrong, so you want to get wrong, too? You don't even be getting that close to the camera until your shit be whipped. When your shit don't be whipped, you be like, this, like, <laughs> oh, hold on. hell yeah. <laughs> Kev, you tell her yeah, the yeah, bitch now. No, <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying, you look beautiful. Look, look at that. That's my look at that look. shit. No wee, boo, I know. Me. No, I know, because you got that. You look very pretty. And I got the makeup on, so I'm flexing. You right, Kev. You right. Come on, I know, I know when it's... You know how I leave me <laughs> doing it. We be flexing this shit. She's about some anyway, you know what I'm saying? Fuck nigga, go in front of go teeth. Fuck nigga, all these fuck niggas ain't hey, never seen me in a lot. You line. can never curse a man out, women, when you looking busted. Always be cute when you go off exactly. on that. It's okay. <laughs> Have on a matching bra and panties set, your hair laid and Makeup shit. Makeup laid, you can't be busted. Heels. What you say? You can't be talking shit talking about nigga look. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to leave your raggedy ass anyway. Get him out of here. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> That's why your edge is raggedy. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, stop I'm with, glad. Your, with your tongue. Did you see what you just did? Yeah, uh, but I know y'all entertaining like a motherfucker, man. <laughs> okay, Ken. <laughs> Keep licking your mouth like that. Gonna get yourself. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jermaine, you better warn Kev. Well, Jermaine, you better like tell him he don't know about these efforts. Jermaine, like our brother. Jermaine, Jermaine come and goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine is our brother, goddamn it. Look, look, he ain't IG friend. He real life friend. Who's that? Hood juice. Hood juice. Michelle got some hood juice for you. Shut your ass up. Girl, God, please. Mm. Oh, Y'all ain't, 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 ain't got a bone. Y'all ain't got a Y'all ain't got a, a bone of hood in y'all. Y'all just some tough sisters. And I would No, I but I will fight a motherfucker, but I ain't I ain't I ain't ghetto. You right. I know that's, that's how right. sneak that's how she that's, bougie hood. <clears throat> I'm bougie hood, exactly. That's how that's how I sneak motherfuckers. They be thinking oh, she ain't gonna do shit. You just don't know. I'm glad y'all be your fucking bodyguard. What you talking about? Bullshit. Hey, shit. Hey, let me tell you something. You don't need to be my bodyguard, but I'm gonna protect you. But you know, them. it could be bodyguard another way. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm a protector. Listen, I'm glad y'all popped in and shit. Y'all energy is amazing. You know what I mean? Gang, gang, you <laughs> dig that? <clears throat> Come on, y'all. Jake O the Blair, what's up? Yo, I just want y'all to understand. This how we get down. Make sure you vibe just a little bit. I'll never forget the vibe. <clears throat> Come on. Yes, yes. Love you too, guys. Go have it. Went sing, I see you. Mama Nika. Come on. What's up? Zodiac show every night. Make sure y'all go visit MotivateEverybody.com so you can get your Motivate Everybody gear. Go visit. Leave a comment. Thank you to everybody that's been to the website. Thank you to everybody that purchased on the website. It's on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mama Miss, I see you. Yes, that's me on the picture behind me, Shaquana. Actually, actually, if you go to your cable station, you go to HBO On Demand, and you Google all deaf comedy, you're gonna see that right there. And that's me, season one. And that's my logo. They had it on a billboard in Hollywood on, on Melrose, on, I'm sorry, La Cienega and Melrose. I had a 30 foot, a 30 foot um, billboard with that on it. And it's a bunch of different comedians' names on there, but. If you go to your HBO station and type in that, or even Google all deaf comedy, you'll see it. And that's my logo right there, my silhouette. So yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, the calendar's coming, guys. Heavens. Calendars are on the way. Come on. Mona, Nick, I'm glad you came today, though. I'm glad you came today. Turn up. Let's go. Yes, yes. 
in Hollywood, and I actually manifested that to be crazy. If you, if there is such a thing, if there is such a thing, yes, Melrose in Hollywood, you know. But um, to answer your question, though, Shaquana. So what's up? How you doing, Wilson? Hello, hello, Tiger. How are you? Um, <laughs> here, you know, same hustle, different curves, same circus, different clown. You know what they say. Same stuff, different day. Yes. So, I like the <laughs> light. I noticed. Thank you. All right. So, look. Yo, we was talking about manifestation, but that was a light flex. It wasn't no flex, but it's real talk, though. I used to tell you. I'm going to tell you this and show on the screen. I really used to say that when I first got to L.A., I used to be like, I'm going to get my logo, which was my silhouette on my shirt, which is my logo. I used to tell my homeboys, I'm going to get my billboard right here on Sunset and Highland. I'm going to get a billboard right here on Sunset. I used to tell them that every day, 2007, 2008. Well, fast forward 2016, I had a big billboard from HBO. It wasn't the same silhouette. It wasn't the same corner, but it was my silhouette, you know, and that's real talk. I'll tell that story in story time. We're going to talk about it. But to this, now, is it okay to date if you are married? but separated I wouldn't do it because it's a lot of responsibility on the other person especially if they're not separated um, you know the, there are situations where what can happen definitely will happen so say for instance I'm separated and the person I'm with you know we get into some sort of accident I end up in the hospital the person that I'm not divorced from can come in and say well I don't want that guy in the room and he has to accept that legally. Mm. If, if I pass away, he can arrange the funeral, you know, seize my body and arrange the funeral and say, that guy can't come. So that's a lot to ask the other person to take on. Somebody died. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, hey, if I get hit by a meteor and die, okay. you know, and I'm, I'm involved with somebody else, you know, he doesn't have a say so over my body if I'm married to someone else. By the same token, if I become pregnant, legally, that's my husband's baby. You know, until... Uh, right, well, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> legally, that's time my out. husband's baby. Wait a uh, legally, you, hey, listen, legally, schmegally, you talking about that? Yeah, until the court that. say otherwise. When we would have to go to family to court. Right. We would have right. to file an affidavit of parentage. I'm not And I'm not I'm not going nowhere. I'm standing in the bed. You mean to tell of course we're to not going to court. I'm an excellent marksman. We won't go to court, but um, just legally, <laughs> legally. Are you, you know, the sheet about she's telling <laughs> the That ain't man, my child. You crazy as hell. I'm standing in the bed. I'm not even waking. As a matter of fact, I'm going to work. Piss on some and give me the result. Yeah, the paternity I'm, test doesn't even matter. Like if a woman becomes pregnant, her husband can pay child support. You know, after the divorce, depending on how it pans out, he could be paying child support for a child that's not his because legally she was married to him when that child was conceived. It's disgusting, but it's true. Where do you live? What state? Detroit. Oh, I always forget. <laughs> that's, Detroit mm -hmm. got the worst uh, 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 system when it comes to that whole child, father, parenting, you know, child support, that whole system, you know, friends well, of the friend court of the court system. is sistership. Friend of the court is sistership. It chases you from state to state, so. It's sistership and no pun it intended. Sucks. No pun intended. Because it's built, it is built to fuck over the man, the whole process, you know, is a problem. It's set up way crazy, so I don't know, man. So, I a blessing to not be involved with any yeah. of it. <laughs> so you wouldn't fuck with so you so you ever you ever hung out with a married man? Um, if I have, it's because he lied. Not to my knowledge, no. It's just not something I would do. It's disgusting. I mean, I'm just really particular. I'm a huge germaphobe. There's just so some you, things I can't. Do. Well, let me tell you something. At least he fucking one woman. You gonna meet a single guy? He fucking. I mean, I mean I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I mean, he not, wouldn't necessarily be sleeping with me either, but just simply dating, you know, you could become emotionally involved when you're getting to know somebody before you even do that. So, but no, he wouldn't be sleeping with me. 
right. I'm turning up <laughs> the Zodiac. So I'm glad you came. You look good on here. Thank you. Zodiac so that's what I'm saying, man. Stop playing. Good night. Bye, Bye Brody. Gang, gang. Too mad to say as long as you sign a birth certificate. Man. Come on. Oh my God. Thank you for the badge. If you just bought a badge, thank you. I miss it. That's love. Why are you going to so. Katrina Raw. Mama Miss, what's up? I am chilling. I just woke back up. Well, back to the welcome, 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 to, the, welcome to the Zodiac show. Good to see your face. <laughs> Good to see you too. All right, man. You see what we talking about? You see what we talking about up in this thing? Is it okay to date if you're married but separated? I think legally, I guess it's okay, but like, eh. Um, I mean, like you taking a break for a reason, right? But no, I think they, it's. It, no, I'm just saying that they are married, but they're separated because they're trying. They haven't divorced yet. Yeah, I mean, you're separated, right? Okay, so you separated. That means you're just supposed to get some space from each other, right? That means y'all on y'all way out of the relationship. Y'all just have not quite divorced yet. It takes. It's a process. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, my parents got separated when I was, like, in first grade or some shit like that. And, like, I was so happy my dad was out of the house at the time because he was, like, really violent and shit like that or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, unfortunately, I mean, well, I guess, whatever, he came back. They got back together. They didn't get mm -hmm. divorced. Um, So... I can only imagine how I would have felt like if my dad, if I had seen my dad dating somebody at that time. You know what I'm saying? Or if my mom had brought an, another man into the picture. Like, that would have made me feel some type of way. Basically. Um, I really think that separation is supposed to be like we're separating because we're having a really difficult time coming to terms with each other. Like, if you're fighting a lot, you separate the people. That don't mean that you're supposed to be like, you know what I'm saying? Necessarily building new shit. You feel me? Yeah, you can because, that's what happens when you start to get into it like that. You do start to build whether you like it or not. And then it's hard to get them out of your life. If you haven't closed that book all the way and it's still open, you have to be careful because you start collecting bones you become hard to hide. Hell yeah, and then like um, Tanisha say if she's separated, she divorced. Done, done. No, your ass ain't. You separated. <laughs> You're not divorced. Damn it. Right, you separated because a lot of people get separated, and then they they fuck around and get knocked up. You know what I'm saying? Like at the same time, because you separate, you working on shit, whatever. He don't stay in the same house as you. Maybe it's been three weeks and shit since you seen him. Then y'all y'all do meet up and shit. Y'all arguing. Or whatever, you end up having angry sex with this nigga, and now you fucking knocked up, or whatever, and then that changed the whole course of events. You was about to leave this nigga, you found out you fucking met, um, knocked up, and now you feel like, oh, I gotta stay with this nigga, because I'm knocked up by him, okay? Not so, like, I don't, I really don't think you should be... It happens. Absolutely. Like, like, a lot of times when folks get ready to leave and shit, they get, they had an angry sex, and now they Fucking forty three. Y'all done got two, three kids out the way. You forty three. You knocked up and shit or whatever, cause you had to go over there and argue with that nigga face to face and fuck around and have angry sex. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you done had yeah. angry sex or whatever. So now you the next day and shit, you feel like oh we had sex. We done made up and you pull up to the uh, to the apartment he's staying at 
and you see some other bitch there, now what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now you yeah, about yeah. to fight pregnant and shit. So, hold on. oh my God, see, that's the one niggas fucked up at. A lot of times what happens is arguments start, women figure out they done got them all up in a row, row, row. They figure, damn, I had to do that or they didn't do it, but here's a good time to have sex. He emotional. I let him back. He come in raw. He bust. Loot right back in. I'm pregnant. Hey, gang, gang. Hell yeah. No, that's the bullshit. No, we're not getting nothing. We're not doing that. Why you guys talk to your kids? Talk to your boys. These women are fellas. Talk to your boys. Talk to your boys. Go get your boys. If you ain't with your kids, that's cool. I ain't no judge. Get to them if you can, man. I'm trying to tell you, man, because these women can do it, man. It go just like that. They get emotional. You go back over there and get the bus, and then uh, you look up. Now you starting all over from scratch. You know, you starting all over. Trapped in that same old, you know, toxic cool cat. You feel me? Because sometimes, you know, both of y'all could be toxic. And that shit, man, you yeah. know, that toxic sex be good as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoo, yeah. Jesus. Oh, my God. You know, you wanna, that nigga asshole and shit. Now, you you know, you got to you got to be careful. Well, listen, but, uh, listen, 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 Mama Miss. I'm about to sit this thing down and try to get these few people in here. But I'm glad you came in to say hi and talk to us and spit your stuff. I'm glad. Oh, yeah. okay. I have to get on here. It's been a All minute, right. so. Turn up, Hello, y'all. Dodi Gang Gang. Aqua Arius in the there building. You know. Oh, my God. There they go. <laughs> y'all know what it is. Them Aqua ass. Y'all know what it is. Turn up. Thank y'all for all the love up on this thing. Come on. Listen, it's a few people in here tonight with on some requests, but listen. Thank you, Scorpio teacher lady. Thank you. Listen, I'm telling you, like, if I don't get to you, y'all, in any case, yo, it's a, it's a few people that want to come in here. If I don't get to you in a certain night on trip, y'all know where it is. I'm here to hear what you got to say. Sometimes I get my newer people in here so y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Try to get my regulars in here as well, too. Who my guy talking about here, man? Let's see if he's on here. Come on. Hey, what up, what up, what up? Man, how you doing? Man, cool. huh? You know it, you know it. To the Zodiac show, Hershey Dow. What's up, girl? So you hear we talking about this thing, man? Yeah, I heard. It's a little close to home, not my situation, but my mom's situation. What? So my mom's going through a divorce, and the, the funny part that you're talking about this, she went to the post office to uh the other day, and to go because she had got a PO box because of whatever how the situation was. She still stay in the house, but it was just a point of him coming to the house. So they got both got P.O. boxes where they can, you know, so he can stay away from the house and whatever, whatever may be. So while she's at the post office, she looks in front of her. Her husband, who she's divorcing, is in line with his new girlfriend. <laughs> My mom was like... She had got with the whole P.O. box and said, uh, and so told, told him, like, hey, uh, you got some mail over here. Boy. Do you want it? She said, do you want it? He said, if you want to give it to me, he, he said, do you want me to give it to her or do you want me to give it to you? <laughs> I want 
can't put my shit back in the mailbox, really. No, but they had separate P.O. boxes. So uh -oh. it was in her P.O. box. Uh -oh. But it was his mail, so she was asking did he want it. My mom was like, she looked at this woman and was like, oh, my God. She was like, she'll bite me because that's what how ugly my mama said the woman was. <laughs> so to really answer the question about this situation, I feel like you shouldn't mess with anyone while you're going through a separation, going through a divorce. But in nine day and age, people are going to do it. I don't think it's right, but people be shacked up in the house and not getting married, and that's not right. So either or, I feel like you shouldn't, but people going to do it any goddamn right way. I ain't mad at that, man. Where you going, man? Oh, somewhere outside Chicago. I just left out of uh by the by my house in St. Louis, so I'm on my uh I'm all the way outside Chicago. What you mean somewhere? You going somewhere? Where your map? You got a real paper map, my nigga? Yeah, I got the paper. I got the paper. It's a, no, I don't got no paper going on. You ain't no truck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got I got me a, my wife bought me a uh, GPS system. It's sitting over here to the right. So it's like uh, I'm going to Bowen, 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 something, uh, Illinois, somewhere like uh, Julia, Juliella, Juliella, Julietta, yeah, Juliet, yeah, Juliet, uh, Illinois. That's where I'm going. Yeah, it's a junior college out that way. Yeah, but you um, uh, are you uh, you got any uh shows in in May coming up? Why? Where? I mean, not right. Not now. anyone. Just anyone. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, well, when, when, when your free day? Nah, cause you know my anniversary is uh in May the twenty third. So I would do wherever you was gonna be at. I probably was gonna fly out to. So oh, you, check this out. My birthday is May 29th. Right. You know what I'm saying? So stay nice. tuned, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can do y'all do y'all thing. We figure it out. Kind of Cause even if your ass, even if your ass stay there, we still want to go to LA anyway. So any trip, I'm gonna try to make it anywhere. So I'm just trying to see where you if you gonna be somewhere or I'm gonna pick somewhere else to go. So it don't matter to me because I know she want to go to LA. So man, I could probably make a trip man. for LA. They about to start opening things up around here pretty soon. They about to open things up. So, yeah. and stuff. so by May. They about to start opening some things up. They're opening some schools up pretty soon. Man, let me tell you. Okay. If I can bring y'all out to L.A. and take y'all to some comedy clubs, I really will be here to do that. Y'all can count on that. Okay, so, yeah, because our anniversary is the 23rd of May. So, shit, if I look at the map and figure, I mean, not the map, but the calendar and figure out what we got popping off, I, uh, I could probably do it like that and we just go to L.A. in uh, May. Sure. All right, I'll let you I'll know, let, though. I'll let you know what it is. That's cute. He go hard, man. Rob, be safe, boy. Yes, sir. Gang, gang man. Listen, y'all. Listen. Yo, we'll be definitely back to you. Oh, Cleona birthday, mate. Hey, Cleona already. Hey, Cleona. If you get two birthdays on the Zodiac show, you will be lit. Listen. Listen. What up, Hershey, dog? What's up? Welcome to the Zodiac show, Hershey, dog. What's up, baby? Not looking at your face. Yeah, I um, I literally just left my show. I didn't pull my hair off. <laughs> I'm popping my nails off. <laughs> Motherfucker, time. Go ahead, Hershey. Go ahead. Hershey. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm about fucking tired of my home now. I had a long fucking night, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't judge so, me. Is it okay to date if you married but you separated? Hell yeah, it is. It's safe to death, do you part? It didn't say to faithful, do you part? 
<laughs> definitely. Definitely. Well, if you're going to have nine wigs, if you're going to have nine wigs, you're going to get away with the shit. You got dreads and a wig? Like, and some I lunch, took, like, you I, I took my lock under this. I was a whole new bitch last night. <laughs> A whole different bitch. They ain't gonna never know. And two days ago, I was a redhead bitch. So <laughs> exactly, that ain't her. I don't think it's her. But look at the lashes, bitch. It's the same lashes. <laughs> it's the same lashes. Listen, <laughs> no, no, my hoes know about each other. So therefore, <laughs> what's your sign? Virgo. You know that. But everybody don't. Virgo, Virgo here, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> So we ain't going for that. Be like, yeah, man, I know she had two hair. That ain't her. She had red hair. Nah, nah, nah. Look at the lashes. Listen. Go back. Go back. Listen. Motherfuckers say they want to see other people. I want to oblige. Okay? <laughs> I want to be able to be everything they need to see. I don't want to play. I don't want to play no more. I want to talk. We need to see what the fuck we doing. We need to figure out what we doing. Got that? <laughs> No, but real talk though, you say you say y'all you oblige, you wanna oblige. So you wanna play the fucking game? Do you oh yeah. Play? I, Virgos, uh, we like role play and all that. If my girl came to me right now and was like, you know what, babe? I want another girl, I'd be like, tell that bitch I said call us. <laughs> what if she said she want a man? She would never say that because she a man, so <laughs> that's gay. Oh that's okay. gay. That's gay. <laughs> That shit gay. <laughs> Against. Oh. Really, bitch? This what you want? Oh, so you just go date men and you dress like them? Oh, that's the gay shit. That's gay. That's gay. <laughs> it's, it's the difference between being gay and then being gay gay. That's two like, gay. That's gay. <laughs> it's like a double layer of gay. <laughs> like, hold on, no, I still want a nigga like this. You gay. That's dumb. You can't, you can't say gay on here. I do not approve those comments. We do not oh, use those terms on the that, Zodiac. That's happy. Happy, happy. <laughs> oh, that's happy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Wow, that's hilarious, man. Uh, I miss y'all. Yes, but I'm going to tell you, though, where are you at right now? I'm in Atlanta. I, you know, I got a weekly show at uh, Uptown Comedy. So we do uh, uh, improv a variety show, singers, all that, but it's like sketch comedy. So that's why I had to be a whole new bitch tonight. <laughs> well, you're that super my... funny. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I can't... your energy be right. When are you coming to Atlanta? I just left Atlanta. That's hilarious. Are you kidding me? I just did. I was at Uptown all weekend. Me and Red was up there all weekend. Why you ain't call me? Because I was performing and I was posting it on IG. Oh, bro, I don't even be on IG like that. I got too many hoes to keep up. You think I can keep up with your accounts too? No. Well, I know you got to do your thing with you, what you're doing, boo. I, you know how I many people in Atlanta? Uh, I wish I'd have saw you there. I ain't know you got that. Yeah, I'm out, uh, that's where I've been at um, since last year. So next time you come back, make sure you hit me up so you can do my show. Gang, gang, you already know. That's her. Y'all go follow her tonight. She's funny as fuck. She's from the D, too. Gang, gang. On Wednesdays, Mama Miss. Good to see y'all. I'm out. Peace. Y'all know what's up. Listen, y'all. Listen. Come on. Oh, yeah, she know. Thank y'all so much for the love tonight. Thank y'all for everybody that supported and gave me bad and, and bought badges. That's love. Thank you for that. Right at your fingertips. Lexi Lex, I see you. Come on. Foxy 922. Thank you for those three badges. Jay Diller. Thank you for that badge. That's love. Thank y'all so much. We back here every night. You understand? Turn up. Cora Green, thank you for them three badges. That's love. Thank you. We're going to get some sleep tonight. Come on. Starlight. Thank you for those three badges. That's live right at your fingernails. Tunisia, appreciate the pop in. I see you, Capricorn gang. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. When seen, Mama Miss. Cleona, good to see you on here. 
Jane Diller all day. Libra, don't tip my scales. It's so much love. I appreciate y'all. Core Green once again. Thank you. Trey Lineo, my dog. It's been one minute. Y'all know how we do. Make sure y'all go visit MotivateEverybody.com. Make sure y'all bring somebody to the show with y'all. Tell y'all sister. You know what I'm saying? Tell y'all brother. Tell y'all cousin. Tell y'all homie. Tell y'all homegirl. If you at a party, bring people in. Invite them in to look. Invite them in to look. It's dope. The doper we get, the doper we all get. You understand? Come on. Thank you, Tanisha. All day. No place I'd rather be. I love it here. Thank y'all for the love. Go visit MotivateEverybody.com. Starlight, thank you for visiting the page and showing love to MotivateEverybody.com. Starlight, thank you for coming over there and viewing the store over there on MotivateEverybody.com. Thank you. Forever love and genuine. Thanks for all the love. Thank you. Gang, gang.